Good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's game between the Epic Game Pirates and Tombs County Bulldogs. Uh, I'm Cole Gardner. I'm by myself at the moment, but hopefully we'll have another announcer with me soon. Um, we are a few minutes late getting started. Had a few issues right before we started, and so I do apologize for that. But uh. Right now the score is still 0-0 zero, zero with, from what I've been able to see while unfortunately trying to get us up and going, um, it's been a pretty even match so far between the girls' teams, so hopefully it might stay that way and make a good game. Unfortunately... Uh, and for those of y'all that did do not know, tonight is also senior night for the soccer team. Uh, both the boys and girls team will recognize their seniors in between the boys and girls game. Uh, should be right around 7 o'clock, probably a little bit before, probably about 6, probably about 6.40 is probably when they'll get started with senior night if this game doesn't go into overtime or anything. So so come out. If you are in town, come out support these seniors. That's, this is possibly one of their last times playing on this field. And I'm trying to see all who we have out there. Which I should have it right back here. I've got it right here. So, so the the starter the starters for the girls team for that Pirates girls team tonight is uh, your for your goalkeeper is Adriana Vega. Number twelve is Miss Luz Roblero Garcia. Number twenty eight uh, Guadalupe Valencia. Number six uh, Natalie Ramos. Number twenty three Nidia Macario. Number nine Uzli Sanchez. Number 24, Diana Michelle. Number 14, I don't know this person, so I'm going to assume it is Rochelle Morales. Uh, number 7, Amy Laredo. Number 25, Olivia Britt. And number 22, Maria Garcia. And unfortunately, I do not have a uh, roster for uh, the Toombs County teams, so I do apologize for that if we have any watching from Toons County. Uh, if y'all do know who the players are by chance from Toons, then uh, feel free to comment on our Facebook or YouTube page and let us know who, who those players are and we'll try to get them called out. If and also share, share this live stream as well. That way if people are trying to find video footage of it. They can find it right here on Facebook or YouTube. So your Pirates. Pirates had, well Pirates still have position of the ball and trying to work their way back down the field. Slight miss kick there that gave it back to Toombs County but number 22 Maria Garcia Back there to clear the ball back out and send it back downfield.
I do apologize to everyone. I'm uh, like I've mentioned pretty much all year, I'm still learning the sport. I know it pretty well by now, just trying to get better at calling it. But right now, the Pirates are pushing to get into the goal. But I believe that did go out on Tombs. So that will be a corner kick. I believe that is. Diana and Michelle that is going to take that corner kick for the Lady Pirates. Tumas does block the corner kick and clear it back out. But the Pirates get back on the ball pretty quick. And are Pushing it back down the field quickly. Got number four, 14, Miss Rochelle Morales. Unfortunate. It's slightly a back pass there, and but Maria Garcia is down there to defend the ball and kick it out to prevent Toombs County Striker from making a push for the goal. Corner kick was a little high over. Over everyone else's head. I don't know what's going on now. I believe it's another corner kick is what it is. Okay. A few minutes ago. So my co-host just got here. Let me get him on. Hey, what's up? What's going on, Cole? My bad. I had to uh, chase down the FedEx man all afternoon. I, I had to do that earlier <laughs> this week, so I, I understand. Okay, we got a shot here from Amy. That was a good attempt there. That was a very good attempt. So far, looks like Applin, uh, so far, scores 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. Down the been, village picks a score. Yeah, it's, it's been pretty well even so far. Has it? Yeah. Both teams have made attempts back and forth down the field and all. So. Yeah. Do you remember what the score was last time these uh, these two teams played? I do not right off the top of my head. I remember, I'm pretty sure that our girls won. I just don't remember what the score is. Hey, good to see you, good to see you Greg. Um... Uh, I want to say, I want to say the girls lost that one, right, Coach? Okay. Yeah, we got to throw in there. Nidia, Nidia threw the ball in. I th think that was number twenty. I think they got a uh, Lupita in midfield today, and we got our uh, starting goalkeeper back there, Adriana. So we've got a uh, we've got some extra help here in the midfield today. There's Usley. Usley tries to clear the ball up into the box. Toombs was able to to block the the pass. Diana in the midfield finds Lupita. Lupita looking for Diana. Uh, Nidia. Nidia does well to find Diana. 
bounces off tombs and goes for a pirate throw in. It's a good ball won by tombs there. Falls uh, to Nidia. Yeah. You asked me when we got here. I, I was. I texted our good buddy Gaz earlier in the week to see if he'd come and announce with us tonight. And he had planned to, but he texted me first thing this morning, and he said he unfortunately had some stuff come up last minute at work, and uh -oh. he couldn't get off it, get or he had to get it done, before, mm -hmm. and so he couldn't make it tonight. Well, uh, well, he missed out because I had him a brand new uh, England uh, jersey. Oh, did you? Yeah, it's, in the, it's in the truck. Oh, he's gonna be, gonna be mad he missed tonight. Then yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. We got a good ball there by Tombs. Oh, oh. Yeah. Unfortunately there, I think Adriana was unable to uh, to realize how far she had come out of the box. And she was only about two yards out of the box there when she picked the ball up. I yeah. thought she was going to, like, kind of... She started to step back. I yeah. thought she was going to step back. Yeah, I, th I thought that's what she was going to do, is step back and let the ball roll into the box and then pick it up. But we have an indirect indirect kick here. It looks like uh, Tombs is trying to uh, set up pretty quick. Yeah, just a, mm, I, th I think it's going to actually, it might be a direct, direct free kick. I, I don't think it's going to be an indirect because it was outside of the box. So I think in this occasion here, it's going to be a, she can, she can kick it directly towards the goal. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that there, there was a rule on that. that uh, there was a yeah. Yeah. Well, you saw how it was outside of the box, right? right? She was outside. So in that occasion, they gave her a free, a free kick. But if okay. it, if it had been inside her box, <laughs> then it would have been an indirect kick. Which would mean, which is it's like, uh, yeah, they have to pass the ball to somebody else before they can take a shot on goal. Okay. Mm hmm. I actually didn't know that rule at all. Yeah, I think it's just because being inside the box, the player will have an extra advantage. So, um, which, which you might have been a little confused because our field's also, we don't have the sport, but I think, our, I believe our field's also set up for lacrosse. Looks like it, yeah. And so that's why it's got like the oval on the end of the box. Mm hmm. So that might make yeah. because she was standing. I know she was yep. standing right there at that line. It was like so. it was like right there where she's at. Well, the camera's not picking it up now, but yeah. Um, but it's here we got Tombs again. They recover the ball. They're trying to play a through ball to number thirty-five. So they got number thirty-five and thirty-one attacking, trying to. Uh, oh, I thought Britt Britt had saved the ball there, and she was uh, had possession. But yeah, it looks like Toombs is trying to feed the ball through to number 35 and number 31 here at the top. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that. Nidia does well to step down, intercept the ball. Vita was trying to play Nidia out, out wide, but it went out a little too far. It'll go out for a throw in. and It'll be a uh, Pirates throw in. You asked me. Is that right? Is this the right one? Make sure I've got the. Yeah, I, right. I, I honestly think they lost last time. I, I want to say it was like three to one, maybe. No, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but um, this this is the right schedule. What on Max Preps they have the Pirates lost six to zero. Mm, uh yeah, 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 yeah. You're you're probably right on that one. I think I did talk to Coach yesterday. So hey, here we have another through ball again. Luce does well to intercept that. Cuts number 31 off, recovers the ball. Was looking for Amy up top. Was unable to connect the pass. It'll go out for a throw in. Yeah. Almost halfway through this first half. And so far, to, I, I don't see how Toon scored six to nothing on the last time. Just, yeah, yeah, not, just, from, not, just from what I'm looking at it so far, it seems pretty well even yeah unless the um unless like i said unless it was just one of those nights where we had some injuries and we had a couple players that had to play in uh because you know we've had a, a midfielder like that number 28 she's been playing a uh, goalkeeper for us uh, for the past few games right so yeah i wonder if it was just so something to do with injury and they were missing some players because it looks pretty even now yeah it could have been like yeah obviously absolutely could have been that like you said uh because that probably would have been around the time when we did have all those injuries first come up. Like, uh, that probably been around the time when uh, 
uh, number 13. Mm -hmm. I can't think of her name. Uh, a talking about the goalkeeper, Adriana? No, not um, Adriana. I'm talking about... Uh, um, we had another the, girl that was... Yeah, the, uh, the uh, Andre Andrea... A uh, uh, and uh, Andrea... And Andriana, a a Adriana, Adriana. Uh, it was something like that, wasn't it? Some, I yeah, forget something her. I forget like her name. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, I think she just had some. Um, yeah, I think there was just something happened there. She wasn't able to to continue playing for the rest of the season. But hopefully, she'll be back next season. Cause uh, I know this season we're losing a, a good bit of uh, of seniors, both in the boys and girls team. I think yeah, I was. Yeah, I need to get that figured out. I, if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, I was just counting the the banners outside, and the banners there was at least ten to ten to eleven uh, I know, I know seniors all together. Yeah, I know there was a lot of banners outside. Um, well, here we had a chance from Tombs and Tombs. Tombs player shoves uh, Adriana down, but uh, number twenty two Maria there lost possession of the ball. She was trying to turn her defender there, and the defender was able to read her movements and. Uh, but luckily, Adriana was there to save the ball. Now she kicks it out. I was looking for a player in the midfield. Maria steps up again, recovers the ball. We do well to recover the ball. We find Diana in the middle. We're doing well to pass the ball. We find Rochelle on this right side. Rochelle turns, keep possession. Looking for her options. Still have possession of the ball here, Lupita. Lupita played a nice ball there for uh, Britt or Marie or Amy up top. There's just uh, some communication there. We got tombs. Yeah, I do. Yep. Uh, I haven't mentioned this yet, but I do want to uh, let our viewers know that we did not make it to the t game Tuesday night, unfortunately. Um, just due to everybody had some issues getting off work-wise, schedule-wise for majority of the crew mm -hmm. and all. And so, um, yeah, and I think and I think the game itself may have had uh we had there was some weather issues too, so was, it was kind of iffy. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, but I think it was raining Tuesday as well. And so mm -hmm. That's also a big reason or part of the reason why why we didn't come as well because that this equipment is not waterproof, so it, <laughs> it's easy to mess it up. But oh rain yeah, and all. Oh yeah, and I think actually the girls' game got called. Uh, I think halftime they had like a, a lightning. Uh, and then we here, here we have Amy Amy on the attack. Amy with a shot. shot. Oh, unfortunately, not strong enough to go over the keeper. The keeper's there to make a save. Yeah, that was a, that was a good save by the Tombs County's keeper. Oh, yeah, that was a good chance there for, it, for Amy. And, and here's another chance here. In all honesty, Amy almost had it. Yep, too. yep. I would have liked to see Amy dribble a little more into the box and then take her shot because she has some yeah. more time. And I don't think the defender was actually going to catch up to her. I don't think so either. Uh, but... I thought there for a second she had it because I thought she had it just high enough to get over to keep her. Mm-hmm. Yep. So far, I mean, the girls are trying to... I know they're trying to get on the scoreboard here before the halftime. So, so far they look like they've got the momentum. Yeah, I was looking. That's a good ball there. Let's see if Amy can chase it down and, and uh, regain possession of it. They play the ball out wide. Let's see if we can play it quick. Uh, we have Nidia here stepping up to take a throw in. Yeah, it's been it's been a little while since we actually done a soccer game because we didn't we didn't get to the one home game last week because um because of weather issues it, it got moved you know, scheduled for oh. Friday. Mm hmm. And it but due to weather it got scheduled and changed to um. Thursday night, and we had unfortunately already planned to do baseball game that night. Good job by Luz there to step up in front of the defender. Yeah, there was a. Um, I mean, the weather's just been kind of kind of odd here this week. Yeah, it's been a little rough. Past which year? Actually, I mean, it rained today. Actually, yeah, yeah, it actually did. It rained right before I left 
come up here. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I thought, oh, man, it's not a lot of rain tonight. I know, I know. Hopefully, we won't see any rain. I know there's some sprinkles here right now. I know that it'll make the, the field a little tougher to play on if it does rain. But I, but I was looking at our record since the last game we had done, which was Pierce, uh, for the girls, and they had – they have went three and one mm -hmm. out of the last games they've went. Yeah, they've actually been playing pretty good here, so they got some momentum. Hopefully, I know Tuesday game wasn't as uh, – they didn't get the result they wanted to, so hopefully we'll bounce back today. No, but like you said, there was a lot of bad weather that day. Yeah. That could have possibly played into effect on that too. Um, yeah, and actually the girls look like they're um, – this looks like the, the the preseason team. They actually look more aggressive today. They're not giving up any any easy balls, anything. They're not giving away anything at all. Uh, they're they're being patient on the ball. They're not getting in a hurry. Why well, talking about physicality there? We got called on the foul there. Um, <laughs> just because there was a shove in the back. Other than that, I mean, it was it was a pretty clean tackle. Well, as of right now, according to Max Preps, and it's probably should be right, our girls are going to go into playoffs as the number four seed, mm -hmm. which is always still a good thing. Yeah, we, it may, we all, obviously everybody always wants to go in at number one seed because you get hosed and mm -hmm. have a better chance at staying at home for a long period of time during playoffs, uh, but. It's just going to be a, a, a little tougher than if we'd have got a a better position, you know. It, um, it is, but but I think with how how strong our region has been this year, and all, I, I believe it's put us probably ready to go in at any position, even at yeah. number four. Yeah, but but I think at that fourth position, we do have to face the number one, right? We will. So uh, I don't know. It might be Pierce. No, it won't be out of our own region. You don't think it'll be out of our own no. region? For uh, playoffs, it won't be out of our region. I think I forget who um, uh, I forget who coach told me they had to play because it was somebody they played last year, um, and I think it was somebody that knocked Pierce out last year. Some, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let's uh, see if I can pull up the soccer playoff. I know last uh, I know last year we went to the second round and we lost against uh, Fitzgerald. Let's see here. So, make sure. yeah, making sure I'm right. So, let's see. As the Region Three Number Four team, we will go into playoffs playing the Region Two Number One team. Mm -hmm. Now I don't remember who is all in Region Two. Uh, let me see if I can find that. Let's see here. Yeah, we've got about 12 minutes left on the P uh, Village Pickens scoreboard. We're going to have subs coming in for uh, for Tombs. Let's see who we've got here. And we got a left wing and a right wing. Number 19 for the midfield here will take this throw in. So, as mm. of right now, uh, if we go into play playoffs still, which actually a lot of teams still have a lot of games mm -hmm. after where our schedule was actually real early. Really? See, yeah, because uh, we actually play a non-region game um, next week. Oh uh, no, in two weeks, because we're off next week. Yeah, because next week is spring break. Yep. Um. Then so and the I think we'll, yep. Then when we right? come back, yeah. When we come back, yeah, it'll be um. They're supposed to take on Vidalia. 
I mean, not Vidalia. Um, Jeff Davis. Yep. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, so they've already, I think they've already played Vidalia, correct? They have. They yeah. played Vidalia. Um, they played Vidalia last Thursday. Mm -hmm. so, um, so they do have um Jeff Davis, and they have another game. Um, oh, they do have one more game. I think so. I think so because they still got to make up Brantley. The I think the girl. Oh, that's right. I, I think forgot. the girls have to make up Brantley. I forgot about uh, the Brantley game. And then the boys will have to make up. Um, They'll have to make it a Brantley game as well. I think so because they, they, they had referee issues. That yeah, because yep. that's a region game, so they have to. Yep, I think that both teams actually had to reschedule. Yep. So. Yeah, so, so far here, I mean, here in these last few minutes, the last two minutes, since, um, since I called out the time and made the subs here, it's been kind of even back and <coughs> forth. Uh, I know the Pirates are looking to, to get on the scoreboard here, but uh ball's just been back and forth here just in, in, in the last few minutes. Okay. Anyway, um, sorry. What I was getting at, though, um, as of right now, if we go in as the number four seed still in our region, we will play um, Ace Charter out of Macon. Ace Charter. Yeah, I think that might have been what uh, what Coach was saying, that that map may have been a team that put out. Um, Pierce. I think it was year. last year. Yeah. Right now, I'm just looking at their record. They're 4-0 and in the region, in their region, and are 7-2-2 two and two overall. Hmm. The year. Wow. That'll be a pretty good team. That'd be a good team. But I think Yeah, I mean the the thing is like the girls the girls just really can't go in there thinking that that it's uh it's gonna be a tough team or a tough uh, match anyways. They just have to go in there playing their, their they, style of play, playing they gotta their go game. in there thinking it's it's just another team. Oh yeah, it is just another team. Um like I said, they've been in this situation before. I mean, they went to the second round last year, so they know they know what it's like and uh yeah. and like like I said earlier, I believe our region's been strong enough this year to where mm -hmm. it's already given them it's given them the competition to yep, exactly. get ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and if and if they uh, if they play it like they're playing today, I mean that's one of the things though, it's just being more aggressive. You know, if if I feel like if you're more aggressive on the ball, then that uh, intimidates the t the other team a little more. So it uh. But and it builds confidence in your, in your oh, yeah. own team. Yeah, it builds confidence in our own team, but it also um, it's also it intimidates the other team a little bit. So that you know they're not, they're not going to be as risky, right, to play uh, long right. balls because once they play long balls, then they lose some of their uh, some of their players here in the middle, and that's you know where we can counterattack. So I know they're not trying to uh, they're not trying to leave any gaps in their formation because. Uh, with the speed we have, I know I can tell we've got some speed here with uh, Amy and uh, Britt. So on a counterattack is where is where we would we would need to to really uh, take advantage of it and try to get a score out of a out of a counterattack. Yeah, I believe, like you said, with our speed and then I believe with our back line as well, like with Maria mm -hmm. Garcia, who's yep been yep. very good this year at holding down the defensively. Oh yeah. Um. Between between all of that, I, you could have a you've got a your good team and could have oh, yeah. a good chance of pushing to a state championship. Oh yeah, yep, yep, and I mean, oh yeah, look, you see how aggressive that is there, and I didn't think the ref was going to give that a call, but he did, and that was a pretty clean challenge there. The number thirty one on that right side, she uh, she basically bodied loose off the ball. Um, So both teams playing pretty aggressive. You know, they know what this means. You know, a win will be pretty big for, for Applin. I believe. Let's see here. Actually looking at it, there is a two-way tie. Or, yeah, two-way tie for first place in the region. Hmm. For the girls' uh, teams. Between Pierce and Savannah Arts. Oh, here we go again. We, we all... Unlucky there. We were trying to find uh, Nidia on that left side. And then, depending on how many games are left, I, th I think Toons really wants to win this game because they can have a chance to move up even further to possibly the second. They overall. do. They do. So that's um, you know, that's uh, that's what the girls uh. They obviously know what this game means for them. A, a win will be pretty big for them, and they know that it'll also mean a lot for for Tombs. You know, if they lose, it'll put them in a position too where they have to they have to win the next few games. 
Yeah, because um, we're because we're let's see, Toons is nine and four in the region. We're seven and five. Mm-hmm. And so if we can get a win tonight, win against Brantley. Mm-hmm. Hey, and, and, I I, think, and I don't know what the tiebreaker is for soccer. I think it's like the goal differential. So depending on how many goals they conceded. Okay. And I mean, I mean, I know last night we conceded about six goals, and then against uh, the ref is giving something here. See you, Greg. Good to see you. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, Unless there was a handball here in the box, I think that's what the ref's given there. The ref put his flag up, and now he's setting the ball down. Or he set the ball down on, on the PK line there. That's what I was like, because I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, and she misses it. Goes wide right. The score is still zero zero. Five minutes left on the Village Pizza scoreboard. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good break right there for the Pirates. Yep, I know the coach is, uh, coach not happy with that one, but that was a good. Yeah, Toombs coach wasn't happy with that, but unfortunately, you know, that is how it is. And it's going to happen. Mistakes yep. are going to happen. Yep. Uh, let's see. What they, they call a handball there? Yeah, it was another handball there. I mean, she, she I think she jumped up to try to hit the ball, and her arm was already up in the air. So, a good kick here. I was trying to think who that was there, but I know that's not the the girl from last year, Anyadi. Anyadi was a uh, man. She was. I think she had like uh, nineteen goals. I can't remember. It, it was. It was. It was. I'd have to go look look it up. But she sc she scored the most goals. Uh, you talking about for Toombs? For Toombs. she was the she was the girl's highest score in the region. I really? think. Um, I said I have to go back and look at it, but she was scoring at least three or four goals a game. Wow. That's very impressive. Mm -hmm. Oh, what an opportunity there! Good job by Natalie, number six, to block that uh, that op that shot by number nineteen. And this is the girl I was talking about here. She looks like she's kind of like the focal point of the team. She's the one playing in the midfield, distributing the balls, passing the balls, and good job by Adriana there to get in front of the defender. But uh, yeah, the Pirates are going to have to uh, 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 mar start marking this number nineteen here because she looks like she's a. Uh, She's, she's got. I mean, she's got potential there. She's got potential. And that free kick there was pretty close to the to the goal, and that was about 30, 30 yards out. She's kind of like the. I guess you can say the leader. I, 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 she the probably she probably is. Um, but yeah, we we can't give her any space and any time to really uh, take shots like that because, like I said, she's got a good shot and accuracy there. So definitely don't need to give her any time on the ball. And I've noticed with number thirty five and thirty one, they both of them have. They have a lot of speed. Is what mm -hmm. I've noticed from teams. Mm-hmm. They have. They have some pretty good speed. So, uh, but so far, our defensive line has been good to keep up with them and mm -hmm. uh, at least clear the ball out and make sure that they don't get an opportunity to go after the goal. Yep. Yep. So here we have Applin here attacking Nidia on the ball. Play a long ball here. Unable to uh, break the <laughs> defensive line. Amy drops back to Diana. Diana de Guadalupe. Guadalupe takes on her defender. Unable to keep possession of the ball. Loses it to Toombs. Toombs on the counterattack quick here. Playing the ball to number 31. Maria is able to clear it out for a throw in. Yeah, that's a that's a good show of, show of the aggressiveness that you talked about earlier, right there, with uh, number nineteen from Tombs and our. Let's see, is that number nine for us? Uh, uh, Usley. Uh, yes, 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 number nine. Yeah, yeah Usley's been playing pretty aggressive too today. Yeah, she. Yeah, she kind of showed it right there. Oh yeah. The, the aggressive. Yeah, you you see it right there. They're not giving up any easy balls there. So that's what this that's what this game means to these girls, and that was actually a handball there, but the ref didn't call it. Ooh, that was uh, get get to it. 
Good is she going to get to right it? There. No foul. And the ball goes out for a throw in. It'll be a throw in for Appling. Toombs do, where to, do well to intercept the ball there, number 14 or number 34, but she's unable to keep it in play. They put the ball into the box. The keeper's there. Got the ball pushing it to towards the box. Yeah, let's see if she can find here. We clear we uh, cross the ball into the box. Here's a good opportunity here. If we can get a shot off. Oh, Lupita does well to get to it first. She's still gonna win the ball back. That was a good move there by Yeah, that, that, that was a pretty good move there. I went. I like to give props to oh, yeah. the other teams. Even when they always do good, never try it down. Oh, never. Teams. Yeah, she, that was a good move. It left, uh, I was going to say that Guadalupe probably, uh, <laughs> she's enjoying being out there on the field, being that she was at, uh, you know, playing goalkeeper for the past week or two weeks. Uh, yes. Yeah, I didn't even know it's half time. So yeah, I didn't even know the time was running down. So time, that's half time. So so yeah, the girls look like they're doing pretty good. Uh, we'll get a good break here, and hopefully they can, um, you know, uh, come back stronger in the second half, and we can put some points on the board. But so yep. far, it's a pretty exciting match. Yep, e even match, pretty. It's so been even, mm -hmm. pretty much this whole time. Yep, yep. What uh, Coach Judd, when are they doing the the senior walk halftime? Oh, after the girls game? Gotcha. So, so, so yeah, we'll, um, you want to take a break? Yeah, we can take a break. It's still 0-0 zero, zero here on the Village Beach scoreboard. We'll be back in about nine minutes uh, with the second half of this game. And we will be back. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in baxley if auto owners make sense for you
Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you.
Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. All right, we are back, Lalo. Uh, like, like we said before, going into the halftime, it's still zero zero here on the Village Pizza scoreboard. And yep, see. yep, and both teams, uh, you know, right before the half, they uh, they lined up both teams and were warming up, so they're ready for this second half. And I know both of these coaches here have uh, have got a game plan set. So let's see what we can. Uh, far as the Pirates, let's see what we can come out with as a result here in the second half. We've got 30 mi 39 minutes left. So far, both teams come out pretty even. Got Amy on the ball here trying to recover the ball. She wins the ball, plays back to Nidia. Nidia finds Guadalupe. Guadalupe trying to play a through ball there to Nidia. It was intercepted by Toombs. Maria doing well to clear the ball. Good one two there. It's a very good one two. Yeah, these uh these lady pirates look look structured today. It looks really good. Looks a lot calm. Well, as, as we mentioned earlier, they don't have <laughs> this is one of their very last games. Yeah. Uh, yep. Actually, this been this would have been one of their last two games, but like you mentioned earlier, that they still got to make up that Brantley game. Um. <coughs> so they're probably trying to get the team ready for. Oh yeah. Playoffs and, and, right and now. And we got an opportunity here. Britt put the ball into the box. Let's we have Rochelle on the ball here. She's getting pressured. Uh oh. Oh, Natalie wasn't able to control the ball here. It'll drop back, drop down, and uh, Tombs will gain possession here. Number 31 was looking to win the ball from Luz. Luz does well to clear it, finds Guadalupe in the midfield. Guadalupe dribbles, plays a 1 2 with Diana. The ball will go out for a throw in. It'll be Applin's ball. Oh, I think Uzi was trying to pass the ball there. She took a shot. That's a good attempt there. It we'll take a, it. We'll take it. Yeah. Might have been a pass attempt, but it was actually a good attempt at the actual goal. Yeah, at least she put it on frame. If anything, it, you know, we'll have somebody next time up there pressuring the goalkeeper a little more. Uh -oh. oh, we've got an opportunity here. We did well to pressure. The ball's still not in. It bounces off of the crossbar. Wow. That was that was a good that was uh that was just an amazing job there by our defenders by uh Maria and Luz to get back and block the goal. 
and gave enough time for Adriana to, to drop back and come back. And uh, I think the, the coaches are actually going to review the ball there, that, but I don't think that was a goal. I think it come off of the inside of that 90-degree uh, that angle. No goal, no goal. Okay. So it, it comes off of the crossbar, inside of the crossbar. F to me, it never crossed the line. I didn't see it cross the line. It hit the crossbar and come back out. So no goal, still 0-0. Zero, zero. That, that was a great job by our back line defenders. Yeah, and that was a great it was a, that was a great job by Toombs, too, not to give up on that play and have number 35 there. Right. Absolutely. So, uh is a Toombs throw in here. Looking for number 31 in the box. Lewis is unable to get it, wrap her foot around it. It'll go out for another Tombs throw in. <coughs> Maria done well to win the ball there. Bounces off of Tombs. Nobody throw in. Ball gets cleared far enough to Nidia. They're asking for a handball. They're not going to call it. Nidia trying to clear it. Falls to Tombs. And it goes straight to the hands of the keeper. Keeper will take her time. <coughs> good job there to bring the ball down. That was a good ball. Good pass. Good play here. Uh, Amy was on sides. She yeah, was never she off sides. Yeah. Good pass over to Britt. Yep, Britt finds Amy. Amy's unable to control the ball. Let's see if we can have uh, somebody here. Oh, number seven gets around Nidia. Toombs did well to clear the ball, win the ball in the, uh, out, of their, uh, out of their back line and clear it out. Now we have Toombs on a counterattack. Maria closing her defender down. Maria playing it smart, letting it roll out of bounds, and Toombs uh, had nobody there straight to the keeper. You know, I think I, I, uh, Maria's doing an amazing job. She's been doing an amazing job the past few games that we've uh, broadcasted here. Oh, yeah. She's been that anchor on that back line, yep. I believe, this year. Unfortunately here, uh-oh, mm, there was some miscommunication there. And we were just talking about, you know, how Maria was covering, uh, covering that spot. But just a... Just, uh, this is just some missed communication there, and there was a through ball. And um, I think Natalie's Natalie's defender, or that side Natalie was on, the girl was just outran her. Yeah. Um, it was a good pass, good pass, and good goal by uh, Toombs. Unfortunately, we have a, uh, a player down. Our goalkeeper went down. Um, I know we moved the uh, – the camera's not looking at it, but uh, uh, you want to take a little break, Cole, yeah, and we'll come back? Yeah, we'll take a little break, um, just make sure she's – Good and all, and we'll be right back. Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 
2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in baxley if auto owners make sense for you Step into the world of Woody Fultz Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call. All right, we are back. Um, Adriana didn't end up walking off the field on her own power. Mm hmm. And so, uh, thanks, you actually. After she got checked out, I think she wanted to stay back, stay on still, but I think they uh, unfortunately made her come off. Yeah, so. I, I think it's, it's uh, <clears throat> I think that um, <clears throat> she just had to sit out for a little bit. Hopefully she can come back in, and but we'll see. So for right now, uh, Toons was able to get, uh, put the ball in the back of the net earlier. Right before Adriana got injured, and made a score two to two to zero, uh, one to zero. Uh, the ball goes out there. It'll be a throw in for. It'll be a throw in for Tombs. So we've got about 32 minutes left uh, on the Village Pizza scoreboard. Ball goes out for a, a, a goal kick. The girls are still doing pretty good, though. I mean, the score is one to zero. We got thirty minutes left. I was going to say there's still plenty, plenty oh, yeah. of time in this game to go back and get another goal and yep, yep, get tied back up at least. Oh yeah, yeah. We, let's not change anything that we're doing. The girls are doing good. Let's just play the ball, play their game. <clears throat> Lewis does well to win the ball there. Man, Lewis is doing an amazing job. Yeah, she's been doing really good on that. This year. Would that be considered the right side or the left side? Mm, probably the left side. Left side. Yeah, yeah. since we're since they're going that way. Um, but, but yeah, I, no, just just the moves that she was doing there. I mean, that's just uh, she's showing a lot of quality and a lot of uh, experience now. I mean, she's played. I think she's been playing at least three or four years. I think she's a senior this year. Okay, I can't remember she played when she was a freshman, but regardless, even even if she was on the team and she didn't have a starting position, she never she never she didn't she didn't quit showing up. She was coming to every practice, uh, every yeah. year they had tryouts. I mean, I remember seeing her in middle school. You know, I, I we started coaching her in middle school, and like I said, she's one of those players. She quiet, kept her head down, and kept working. And and 
I think she's actually going to be a player to uh, – she may go to college too as well. Okay. You said that. We did have another one sign mm-hmm. the other day. Yeah, uh, uh, Ms. Nidia. That's what I say. It was Ms. Nidia. She, mm-hmm. she signed with Georgia Military College. That's that right. right. Yep, that's right. Number 23 right here. Unable to clear the ball out there. She was looking for loose, but uh, it goes out and it'll be a throw in for Toombs. <coughs> that was a good attempt there by Toombs. It'll go over the goal. It'll be a goal kick for the Pirates. We've got a sub coming on here. Adriana looks like she's recovered now. We'll, uh, she'll come back in the goal, and Vita will come back and uh, take her spot back in the midfield. That weather earlier had me kind of wondering if it was going to be a nice day for soccer, but it's actually right now. It's oh, turned yeah. out to be a really good day. Oh yeah, it was weather wise. It was raining and uh, cloudy this morning, huh? It's a good ball there. Rochelle looking for Britt on that right side. Does find Britt. Number four for Toons was there. Good Throws man. the ball out. Go out of bounds. We have Amy chasing the ball down. Let's see if she can get here. Oh, oh and lucky. Oh. Man, that keeper's good. That that was a yeah, that keeper that was just another like, great job by her. That was like an instinct save there. She just out of nowhere stuck her hand out and uh Yeah, cause I they, cause Amy was right there at her. So oh yeah, yeah. If, a, if it hadn't have been for that save there, the ball would I I think the ball would have gone in. Oh, I believe so, but that save she, yeah. she either had that quick of a reaction time or just knew what Amy was mm-hmm. going to do off of in- instincts. Well, that was a good chance there. You know, she's not giving up. She's got a smile on her face. You'll get another opportunity. Absolutely. And you still got plenty of time with about 28 and little, little under half minutes. Mm-hmm. My scoreboard is actually ahead. I didn't even notice that. Yours is a little bit? Yeah, not much. Uh, I, th- I, I think it, 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 I think it might have been the the injury time because we stopped the clock during injury time. Yeah, I may have forgotten to stop it then. So that is was my bad. I oh. do have it corrected though now. I think Nitty had slipped there, and so did the the player from Tunes. But it'll go out. Uh, no, they're actually giving a a freak. Oh, that's a throw in. That's a throw in. That's a throw in. It'll be a throw in. We're gonna have subs here. Uh, somebody. Coming on for number 31 for Toombs. And then you've got uh, Nidia taking a break here. Uh, Rochelle's going to play on this left side. And uh, 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 Leslie. Leslie. Yep, it's Leslie. Amy was trying to play the ball there behind her and uh, play Rochelle down the line. It's a good throw in there by Toombs. Ball go out. It'll be another throw in for Toombs. <clears throat> right on. Good save right there by Adriana. Mm-hmm. After coming back in. Yep, you had number twenty-five or thirty-five there pressuring Adriana. Because number thirty-five for teams. Yep, yep, yep. We got to keep uh be careful there. So we have yeah. Britt here on the counter attack. She's able to outrun her 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 defender. Unable to keep possession of the ball. Oh, uh, we're unable to win it back, and we cause a foul, so it'll be a free kick for Toons.
Mm -mm. Oh. If uh, Gaz would have been here, he would have said nutmeg there. <laughs> yeah, Gaz got all sorts of terms for this game, which... That's good, foot, good footwork there by Britt to keep the ball. We have Britt here on the counter. <laughs> this game, which... I'm trying to see what... Uh, what Chris had commented. I was trying to see what uh what Chris was talking about here in the comments. Oh, uh, looks like Gaz is watching. I was going to say I haven't even Big had the comments open. Shout out to Gaz if he's still watching us, and shout out to Mr. Chris. We have Tunes back on a counter attack here. Number 35. Number 35 is able to win the ball. Takes a shot off. And Toombs put a second one on the board. Here with 24 minutes left into this halftime. Or into this game. It's already the second half. There's still a lot of game to play here. That's There's still a lot of time. Yeah, so. that's what I was going to say. Cause we, we've seen it. With broadcast this year, it, mm -hmm. it can take a matter of two minutes to get two to three goals. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Yeah, I don't know if uh, if our goalkeeper there was just uh, was just a bit timid to come out there, but um, she did, she w she may have got injured on that last play, and if not, it was just in her mind. So that's uh, Tombs two, Pirate zero. Twenty-four minutes left. To this pizza, uh, on the pizza, village pizza scoreboard. Ball goes out for a throw in. Leslie kicks it out off of a Tombs defender and it'll go out for a throw in. Unfortunately, Amy is unable to keep control of the ball. <clears throat> Good job there by Lupita to, to win the ball back. Leslie dribbling the ball when they unable to keep possession of it. We did well to recover the ball, but we just didn't have anybody up top. Maria intercepting the ball. It'll come back to the keeper. Adriana does well to clear it out of her, out of her box. We're back on the counterattack again. Yes. Great job by Usley there to clear that ball out from number 19, who, like we talked about earlier, has been one of their main players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the ball was back and forth here for a second, so it's kind of hard to, to really call anything. <laughs> He's got possession. Yeah, there we go. Good job for uh, Toombs. Toombs able to keep possession of the ball. Falls to number 35. Good job by Rochelle there. Loose, loose on the ball. Still has possession. It'll go out for a Tombs throw in. That was a good. That was a good ball there. Good pass to find her. Uh, her teammate, number nine, not giving up. Unable to get a good shot off. We got. We got a lot more people showing up. Yeah. Yes. Hopefully. Fans starting to mm -hmm. fill up. Right. Yeah, ho hopefully we can fill up the the stands a little more. I know the the boys game will be a pretty big uh, matchup as well, just because uh, Tunes is number one in the region. So oh, are they? Yeah, I think they are. I did not know that. I, uh, I, 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 are they region region champs already? So I think they I think they actually announced uh, last week, right? I think Thursday or Friday they actually clinched the uh, number one spot. 
So they actually actually going to win the region. It looks like they oh, took okay. they took Pierce out. Yeah, because I think they beat. Uh, yep. Yep. So the so the boys game is going to be a big matchup as they yeah, take on the yep region champs. Yeah, right? it'll be a really good matchup, and it'll also be a good good uh. It'll, it'll be good to see where our boys stand, too, because uh, we've had some good matchups, and I know Tuesday's match was, was a good match for us. Mm -hmm. We had a good score uh, there. so Yeah, I just happened to pull up our our region standings. Uh, this, is also, this is a big matchup for us tonight because mm -hmm. uh, as Pierce is only ahead of us uh, with a record of 8-4. to Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, so, and Tannel's not far ahead with a record of 8-3. to three. No, so, but but so going into the playoffs, I think this match is pretty crucial too, so they can get a good uh, they can put themselves in a good position, because like yeah. you said, I think the boys only have those two games, and they have to make up Brantley. Um, Brantley be the will be the only region game. Mm hmm. So, um, so yeah, if they can get a win here tonight, and then get another win against. Brantley and have oh unfortunately Amy's unable to, to connect the pass there and the ball goes out it goes let's see here yep more and more fans are, are starting to show up so yeah, like I said, we we're gonna need we're gonna need that twelfth man. That's what they call them the the fans, the people in the in the stands. They call them the twelfth man. So we're gonna need that extra support tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just having looking. <coughs> I was looking at Pierce's schedule by chance. They actually play Tattnall tomorrow night. That'll be a so good that, game. So that's gonna be a big game, and that's that could be a big impact game for a region. Mm -hmm. Um, and like we mentioned. If we win tonight, that could be a very big impact because that could move the Pirates up a spot in the region, at least. Yep, yep. All depending on what happens with the uh, with Pierce and Tatton as well. Yep. Yeah, I mean a lot of the, like a lot of times a lot of the score doesn't really uh reflect, you know, the uh the team's performance, you know, but I mean you can you can tell that the girls, you know, have, have done a lot of work this season. Uh a lot of their passing looks a lot better. You know, they're not uh they're not giving away passes and that's the biggest thing, you know, that they're connecting their passes that they're actually uh uh I think you can tell it both teams. Yeah, with both boys, teams with boys team as well. Yeah, both teams, and 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 as far as like you know, having these last few games are gonna give them a good chance to prepare and get ready for these upcoming playoffs. But you know, it's uh, it's just exciting to see you know the style of play that uh both teams are uh, are developing, and uh, it's exciting to see you know what's gonna happen in these uh playoff matches, just because it's uh, you know, last year where there were some good games. We went we went to that second uh second round of the playoffs. Yeah. Uh and for the boys, I mean, you know, we've got a good season with the boys and they got a good team, so it's gonna be exciting. Yeah, that's I I don't know if I've mentioned or not, but I mean it's been here for a couple of years now, but mm -hmm. soccer's still still rel <laughs> relatively young in Appling County. Mm, yep. I mean it's still not necessarily a old sport mm -hmm. yet. Uh, cause I mean, we talk about it was probably twenty seventeen or twenty. I think it's twenty seventeen. Yeah, I think so too. Twenty seventeen when the sport started. So I think so. Uh, seven seven years. Mm -hmm. So it's not too terribly, not too young, but it's not. I mean, it's still not old yeah, yet. Yep. So I mean, it's still. Oh yeah. That's growing. Oh yeah, and I mean, you have more interest. You have more, uh, and especially with players like you know your your pro players like Messi, Ronaldo, and 
you know, more of your known players. Like you're going to have kids to idolize uh, players like that because, uh, I mean, you have social media. It's just everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, uh, and man, I'm just, it, it's just amazing. Like, uh, just to see the talent of some of these players, some of these guys and, uh, at young ages too, at 13, 14, 15 years old, like they're, they're players that are already, you know, talented and it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be exciting to see what the future holds for these players here. And we have a counterattack here. Oh, oh Britt, can't she keep possession of the ball? Oh, and lucky she wasn't able to uh, bully or defend her off the ball there. That was a good opportunity by Britt. We've got the ball again. Let's see if we can uh, regain possession here. It'll be our throw in. Uh, another way I've seen the sport this sport grown here in Africa is look at the number of fans oh yeah like how much it's increased over the years oh yeah because I remember when the first when the sport first started to, <laughs> there weren't many fans out here I no oh, yeah but now I mean we we've seen this stadium almost filled mm -hmm. pretty well full oh this man this year like uh on some on a uh, good on several games. I would like I would like to see the uh, the comparison of uh, of pictures uh, from that Jeff Davis game. I, I I really don't know if we've had uh, a bigger crowd than that Jeff Davis, and also when Jessup came down here, I think it was Jessup. Uh, yeah, Jessup or Wayne. Good size. Now I don't Jeff Davis. That was about one of the biggest. Right. It was. There was it was one, packed. There was one more game that was close to as big, and I don't remember what game that was. I know Tattano was a good size game. Yeah, yeah, Tattano was a good size game. Yeah. Um, uh, but it, that's not, but that's not the game I was thinking of. There was one more mm. that we had done. Was it Pierce? It might have been Pierce. I mean, Pierce, we had a good crowd too, because there's a lot of fans that come out from Pierce. Yeah, it might, it might have been Pierce. Then I think uh, next week we have to go to Jeff Davis and play them at uh, at the Pylons. Yeah, is it? Is it next week or is it? Following. Oh, it's the following week. Yeah, in it two weeks. Week? Yeah, cause I think next week's spring break for uh, for us here. It is, but not some sports um, don't necessarily take off during uh, spring break. I because I I know that because my brother playing so many sports over the years. I wonder if uh, some of the I, I I can't remember if one of the of uh, the boys had a a game next week. Y'all have a game next week, coach? Do don't you? Mm, that uh, makeup, right? Yep. Yep. Oh, we have another. We have a makeup well, game with Tattano. Well, the, just the boys got. I think uh, it got rained out. Uh, okay. I, think, I didn't. Yeah, I think there was some weather issues that game or something. And uh, I, I didn't know that. So yeah, that's, so I that's another region team we have to play still. Yeah, I, I didn't mention that one because I wasn't unsure, but I do remember. Um, uh, I think coach mentioned in something like that. So yeah, that's another game next week that the boys have to make up. So it's just the boys next week, and then the week the following week after that they'll. Uh, They'll play Jeff Davis, and then I think they'll make up that Brantley game. Um, so, re so other than first place in the region for the boys, which was clinched by Toons, mm -hmm. second place is still up for grabs by almost Pierce, mm. uh, Appling, or Tattnall, mm. depending on how it goes with these next few games. Mm -hmm. Yep, I mean, uh, I don't know if we uh, if you saw the sub that came in here earlier, but we had number 20. Oh, what a shot! Usley, Usley done well there to take a shot, you know. Uh, I did not see number twenty though coming. Number yeah, number twenty came in. Esme, she came in, was playing there on the midfield. She's uh already coming in, showing a great uh, aggressiveness against number nineteen to win the ball against uh, her earlier, um, right before Usley took that shot. Uh, yeah. Good ball there. Which we'll find out here. Good job by number 19. She takes her shot. It goes wide left. I was going to say, we'll find out here soon in a minute, but how many seniors we actually have. Oh, yeah. And I'll probably, I'll probably take a little break here at halftime and go down there and take some photos. And then I'll come back uh, whenever the boys' uh, game starts. That'd be perfectly fine because we'll probably take a short break to allow – the uh, players to gather up with their parents and all to mm -hmm. do ha to do the senior mm -hmm. uh, night presentation. 
And so we'll talk, we'll take a small break during that and come back for that right after this game, which is which we are still down two to nothing here on the Village Pizza scoreboard. But oh, what a good ball there! Unlucky, it was a little too hard. It went straight to the keeper. Like Cole said, we still got a good bit of time, 11 minutes left. So yeah, say, there's still plenty of time to come back and get two more goals. And that's what the Pirates are trying to do now. They're pushing real hard to get down the ball down the field. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you notice now, like, um, yep, and it'll be a throw in for us. So if you notice now, we're, we're trying to play a little more over the top, a little bit of, of a longer ball, just because there's not that much time left. So, you know, keeping the ball in possession, moving it short passes here and there is. Uh, and Toons has got a. Yep lot of substitutions coming in oh yeah so i think with with those substitutions what what that coach or what coach jeremy is trying to do there he's trying to put some fresh legs in and, and pressure these girls pressure them pressure them pressure them oh what a shot by amy oh my god if you'd have seen this girl when she was in karate she used to be beating up boys in karate at mr jeans whenever i started uh, uh coaching uh i started uh, at taekwondo with mr greg and uh, Amy was there, and she was a little feisty, feisty <laughs> girl. And, uh, she, I think she even got her black belt or a junior black belt. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I know now not to mess with Amy at all. <laughs> you saw that kick right there. That yeah. was a. Uh, yeah, that's a good kick. She's a. Uh, oh, uh, what is that going to be? A handball. Maybe a handball called against Toombs. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what this uh, this sub this substitution is going to do, but more than likely is going to tire our girls out here. And number thirty-five looks like she dropped down to play defense. That's the girl that scored both goals. Uh, yeah, what I know. handball here? We're going to call a handball. Didn't call a handball there. Yeah, so it looks like coach has put uh, number thirty-five back here just to mark number seven, our uh, our Amy here. So. We've got about nine minutes left. There's still plenty uh -oh. of time left. Got number 31, wins the ball. Oh, it drags the ball wide left. Adriana dove. But the ball was already going wide left. It'll be a goal kick. We've got eight minutes and 50 seconds left on the Village Pizza scoreboard. Score is 2-0. to zero. Uh, Tombs. Tombs leading in this game. Eight minutes left. Maria clears the ball out, finds uh, Esme. Lupita, unfortunately, gave the ball away, but it'll go back uh, back to the keeper. It'll be a goal kick. We're going to play short. We're going to play out of the back. Good ball. Oh, finds Nidia. Nidia finds Amy. Good job. Good ball. So that should be off the tunes player for yep. Applin throw in. Ooh, that was a missed ball right there. That could be a good opportunity for Avalon. Mm-hmm. That was a good tackle by Toombs, number nine. Ball goes out for a throw-in. We've got seven minutes left on the Village Speaks of Scoreboard. It's a ball thrown in into the box. Uh, that looked like a handball. I, I kind of thought the same thing. I thought right? it might have been a handball, but that was, hard. it was hard to tell just because it was on the other side of the – uh, number 19 for two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's hard to see. Good ball there by Toombs to find number three. Number three is going to carry. Luz steps up. Luz does well to close her defender down. Number 31 plays the ball to number 11 into the box. Adriana's there to make a save. 
We got six minutes left until the end of the match. Number 22 on the ball, Lupita. We have Nidia, number 23, stepping up. Esme recovers the ball here, inter intercepts, pass to Nidia. Nidia takes the ball on this left side. Number seven kicks the ball out for a throw in. <coughs> Man, they're not giving Amy any space here. <coughs> good ball, good ball. You know, oh, unfortunately. No, I'll say I don't blame her for not giving Amy any space. She's so yeah. she's got some speed. Yeah, she's she's quick. That was a good ball by uh Gupita. Lupita clears the ball out and it'll go behind the behind the net for a, a a goal kick. The goalie will probably take her time here to set the ball up. We've got about five minutes left. Keeper punts it out or kicks it out. Finds number nine on that right side. Tune does well to keep possession of the ball. Done well to clear the ball out. Was looking for one of her teammates. Esme clears the or trying to find Britt yeah, over yeah. on the right side. Yeah, she was, she was, it was a long pass there looking for Britt. Uh, it wasn't mu it wasn't very long though. Not too long. Um, it was about the right spot. I think on those on those uh on those passes there when we're already here in like the final third the girls just need to uh put less weight on the ball so it doesn't uh go out or go too far um just because the ball rolls a little quicker here on this turf. Yeah. It's a good opportunity there by uh Lupita. Ooh, Luz, Luz does a very good job there to intercept the ball. Keeps the ball in, in play. That was a great move. Oh, but still Luz. in play. The ball never went out of bounds. Finally does go out of bounds. And should be a... Is it not a pirate throw in? Mm, it should be a pirate throw in, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting to see these... Uh, these girls going off to college and playing at at the higher level. Absolutely, we got let's see, two, yeah, at least two? four. We have four. I think there's going to be at least four girls from, oh, okay. from the from the Pirates. We have two already for soccer commit, or is it three? Committed? I think it's three. three you got three. you got Nidia, Diana, and Amy. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's those three. Okay. Yeah, and Britt Britt's going to play uh, softball in uh, in yeah. ABEC. Yeah. I knew Olivia was going to play softball in ABAC, and I knew so Amy was going. Yeah, so we've actually got four players going to play college, three soccer, and then Britt going to play uh And then potentially softball. a fourth soccer player, yep. from what you're saying, right? Yep, yep. So there should be maybe one more. I, I, I think it's just going to depend on their on their commitment, if they're going there or they're choosing somewhere else. But Okay. I mean, that's a good start, though. I think four, four players, that's a good start, which – that's most of the seniors, anyways. I was going to say that's that's a really great thing to see mm -hmm. four four players when you probably got maybe I don't know maybe six girl seniors probably so at most. I think there's seven. Seven. Okay. Things are like seven and seven, right? Seven on the boy or eight on the boy? Yep. Yeah, I thought I I remember counting fifteen banners. Okay. Yeah, and I think I think there's some girl. Um, who was that? Uh, was that Tombs? Or, or what was what was he calling here? Offsides or something? We've got about a minute and forty eight left into this. Uh, into the to the final whistle. Tombs is still looking to attack. And 
And ball's still in. It still hasn't gone out. It'll go out now, and it'll be a throw in for Toombs. Oh, what a great ball there. Amy's going to get there. Oh, Luce is unable to make a, a contact with the ball. Maria does an amazing job to clear the ball out. It's a good first touch to get around her defender. We play a ball here. Will Nidia get to it? And she does. She does. Uh, no, it didn't look like it went out of bounds from here. Uh, but the ball has to go completely, completely out of bounds. Completely. It has yeah, to completely cross. I, I saw it hit the line, but I didn't see it completely cross the line. Yeah, I was trying to, um, I was trying to get a good look there at the at the gray line, but that was a good call there by the ref. He's the one making the calls down there. We're just broadcasting. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> they got they have better view of it than. What oh we yeah. Do. Oh yeah. So, so never never arguing with their call. Oh no no. But I would have liked the ball to stay in bounds so we could have at least had some sort of opportunity there with about uh, three seconds left to this match. I think the final whistle is about to blow. Uh, yeah, because you only got two, one. And that is the end of the ball game. Your final what? score, Tombs two, Pirate okay. zero. Yeah, just that score says two, zero. But in all honesty, this was a... Oh, it was an um, even match. Uh, it was an even match. In all honesty, it should have been a probably a one score game. Well, yeah, probably, but you know, Tombs did Tombs came out and, and you know, they obviously had a had a good plan there at halftime and they come out and pressure the girls and the first fifteen it was about the first fifteen minutes they were pressuring our girls pretty yeah. well and um uh they got a goal in. Uh we got a uh, our goalkeeper got injured, she went down and then um they were able to get another score in and after that, I mean our defense kinda kinda held it down but you know, overall, um, you know, good job to Toombs for coming out here and getting the win. You know, the first half was pretty even, like you said. So, yeah, for, first half was very even. I, and I still believe the second half was yeah. pr pretty even. I think we just made some mistakes, and that's what cost us. Yep, yep, yep. It's just those uh, those the little mistakes, yep. Well, Cole, I think I'm about to um, walk down here real quick so I can get some pictures of these seniors so I can, uh, yep. so I can have something for their yearbook. But uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, we want to. We're going to take a break, and then. Um, we'll come back and recognize these seniors as um, they get lined up and ready to walk out onto this field for uh, one of their la very <coughs> possibly last time uh -huh. they might get to walk out on this field. Yep. So, um, but we'll take a break and be back right af after this. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you.
Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you
After graduation, Nydia plans to attend Georgia Military College, where she will continue her soccer career and pursue a degree in exercise science. We will congratulate Nydia on her academic and athletic success at Apple County High School and wish her nothing but the best in her future endeavors. Ms. Nydia Macario. Our next senior is Diana Michelle. Diana is escorted by her mother, Norma Gonzalez, and her brother, Luis Michelle. Over the course of her high school career, Diana has been a part of the Lady Pirates soccer team for four years and the cross country team for two years. After graduation, Diana plans to attend ABAC at a soccer scholarship where she will also pursue her dream of becoming a veterinarian. We want to congratulate Diana on her academic and athletic, athletic success at Hackett County High School and wish her nothing but the best in her future endeavors, Miss Diana Michelle. Our next senior is Rochelle morales Marquez. Rochelle is escorted by her parents, Carlos Morales and Maria Marquez. Over the course of her high school career, Rochelle has been part of the Lady Pirates soccer team for three years, the cross country team for two years, and FCCLA for one year. Rochelle will, will graduate as a magna cum laude honors graduate. After graduation, she plans to attend Mountain State University where she will pursue a degree in communications. We want to congratulate Michelle on her academic and athletic success at Apple County High School and wish her nothing but the best in her future endeavors. Ms. Rochelle Morales. Our final girl senior of the night is Luz Roberto Garcia. Luz is escorted by Jasmine Rodriguez. Over the course of her high school career, Luz has been a part of the Lady Pirates soccer team for three years. Cross country for two years and beta club for four years. Luz will graduate as a summa cum laude honors graduate. After graduation, she plans to attend college and pursue a degree in biology. We will congratulate her on her academic and academic, academic and athletic success at Apple County High School and wish her nothing but the best in her future endeavors. Ms. Luz Roberto Garcia.
Our next senior is Benjamin Franco Vargas. He has participated in wrestling and soccer all four years of high school. His plans after graduation are to join the military. We want to wish Ben the best of luck in his future endeavors and thank him ahead of time for his future service in the United States military. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Benjamin Franco Vargas. Our next senior is Diego Garcia. He is being escorted tonight by his mother Patricia and father Juan Garcia. Diego participated in cross country and soccer. His plans after graduation are to attend Spencer Nicole College. We want to wish Diego the best of luck in all his future endeavors. Mr. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Diego Garcia. Our next senior is Alfredo Hernandez. He's being escorted tonight by Humberto Hernandez Mendoza. Alfredo has played soccer in high school at Apple County High School for two years. After graduation, he plans to enter the work for, workforce in the construction industry. Wish him the best of luck in all his future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alfredo Hernandez. Our last, last senior of the night is Talon Shites. Talon is being escorted tonight by his mother Christy and father Michael Shites. Talon has played soccer at high school for three years, is playing after high school, or to attend welding school and enter that workforce. We want to wish Talon the best of luck in all his future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Talon Shots. Let's give one more round of applause for all of our senior soccer players. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Step into the world of Woody Fultz Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Call Sammy. Call Sammy. Call Sammy. Community centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. 
Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense 
Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Step into the world of Woody Fultz Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Call Tim. Call Tim. Call Tim. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Step into the world of Woody Fultz Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense ask rents and rents insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you Step into the world of Woody Fultz Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. 
We've got an incredible lineup of Ford Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. All right, we are back, everybody. I maybe the audio settings are there. Yeah, I, yeah, I had yeah. It. yeah, it was a, uh, it was a. Uh, I mean, you can't you can't really say much to it. I mean, the boys drove the ball down here to his left side. Uh, either somebody didn't step up and mark this man, or they didn't they didn't. Uh, I really don't know what happened there. I mean, I can't really call it there. I saw everything happen right in front of my eyes, but uh, I was going to say I was in the middle again. Of back up and going here and i couldn't i didn't see it yeah yeah so uh, so no fault to cole there but it's just uh tunes is just coming out and they you know like i said this was a big game earlier they want to make a statement they're number one in the region uh they've always had a good game here against applin they know applin wanted to come out and win this game so they made a statement here in the first five seconds well it's got well like we said earlier in the girls game this game for the boys it has very big implications mm -hmm. to the region wise yep Yep. Uh, especially with the boys having to still play Tadnall and Brantley. Yep. It may not do much. Uh, it may not affect Tombs as much, but for us, it could be a, it could be a, a big help. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, if everything works out, we potentially could become the number two team. Oh, oh man, that would be nice, especially for the boys. We'd be sitting in a good position there to to play that number three seed and and um, potentially move on to that yeah. second round. And it may, and it allowed them to make history by being able to host the very first playoff game for yeah, the boys for here. The boys, yep, yep. We were able to host a girls game, but not a boys. Yeah, that would be that would be historical. So we have Cheddar there clearing the ball out. Uh, we're just gonna have to do a lot more communicating there and not let this happen again because uh, Tombs is already a skillful team, as we can tell. Ooh, that. Yep, ref's gonna call this one. Yeah, I, I was finna say if he didn't call that one, I. <laughs> I I wouldn't be sure about that one. It's a good ball there by Alexis Balcasar put it into the box. One of your uh, eight seniors on this boys soccer team. Yep. Uh, there were seven on the girls and eight for the guys. Mm -hmm. So it, there's a lot of seniors this year. Yep. So that means all these younger ones, uh, younger players. Better be ready to step up next year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, a lot of these players, uh, all they need to do is just stay active during the summer. If they're not going to play travel ball, they need to be active during the summer, getting uh, some touches in, finding some uh, leagues to play in. Like I said, if they're not playing competitive or, or club ball, they need to stay. They, they need to stay uh, in shape. Need to stay stay active. Oh yeah. Because already, I mean, and last year we had Tattnall. Tattnall win a, a state championship from 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 our region. And then this year, I mean, I, mean I, I would give I would give Tombs a good a good run if they can if they can uh, continue doing what they're doing. I mean, they may have a potential to to be a uh, a potential state champion too. Yeah, and like you said, they for our players to keep can growing like we have been for the past couple of years. That they need to continue playing throughout the entire year. Mm -hmm. And even if they don't play, even if they're playing other sports. That's a good thing as well because it's still keeping them active yeah. and healthy and all. Yeah, uh, like, like a lot of these, uh, a lot of these guys from Tombs are probably playing Sunday league in your uh, Hispanic leagues, like in Reedsville, or they're coming down here to Baxley and playing. So right. uh, a lot of that stuff is like uh, they're just getting more experience, like on the field and 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 learning new moves from like older players that are playing Sunday league. So that's 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 what it really is. Like these kids need more playing time, more playing time because that's where they're gonna develop the the little tricks and moves and and uh build that chemistry with each other um but i mean that's just going to take some time here and uh and it's just going to have to be a, a like a group effort like these guys are going to have to get together on their own and and want to do that because uh we've got good coaches here 
But yeah. Now, but now we need group, good group of guys to be committed and uh, be fully committed all throughout the year if this is what they want to do. And you know what we have not done? We have not called out the boys starting lineup. All right. Go ahead. So, so for goalkeeper tonight, we have Aaron Christian. Yep. One of your – or your first senior. Mm-hmm. Then you have Alex, Alexis Balcasar, who is number 17. He's another senior. Lane Boatwright, number one. Also, also a senior. It's Snyder. Oh, good ball here. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Sorry about that, Cole. No, you're perfectly fine. Cut me off any time like that. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, we have it's Snyder Garcia uh, at number 11. Eduardo Delgado at number 8. Angel Garcia at 26. Oscar Escalante at number 4. Alfredo Hernandez at number 14. So good stop there by Aaron. Uh, let's see here. Jonathan Pena at number 27. Alan Ramirez at 22. And Diego Garcia at number 5. That is your Appling County Boys uh, starting lineup for tonight. And like I did mention earlier, we do not have a copy of Toombs' roster, so... Uh, we do not know who these players are, unfortunately. I don't at least know who yeah, these players are. I, I don't think I know most of these. A lot of these players are new. I used to know a lot of the older uh, players from before. Touch? I think he was calling that illegal touch. Yeah, uh, so there was a play here while you were calling out that roster there. The last few numbers, the ball uh, looked like one of our players, our defenders, tried to clear the ball like uh, up in the air and behind him, kind of like uh, booting it back behind him. Okay. But it went towards the goalkeeper, and now he, he did. What? It's supposed to be indirect, indirect, and the referee didn't blow his whistle yet, so he's not counting that as a goal. But I think it's an indirect kick here because Cheddar uh, Aaron picked it up in the box whenever our defender tried to clear it out, and it went towards Aaron. There was just a miscommunication there. Okay, good. That was a that was a good job by there by Applin to clear the ball out. Tooms. There was a little miscommunication there from Tooms on the first one. Though. They didn't hear the whistle blow, so they had to retake that uh, indirect kick. Score is still 1-0. Lexus steps up to block that shot. Ref's not going to call that. Uh, what? That's, uh, it was just a lot of, uh, looks like a lot of hands there. That's uh, what I was thinking. It was, mm -hmm. <laughs> had to be a handball somewhere. I don't know who, but. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the ref's doing a good job. Um, I actually went down there. Uh, I saw some of the refs, and I, and I, uh, I actually know one of them from, huh? uh, from, from Clarkson from Atlanta. Okay. Uh, one of the goalkeepers from over there, and uh, I didn't recognize him. He had his hair done, and I was like, uh, do you know Andrea? He's like, man, that's me. I was like, no <laughs> way. <laughs> so, uh, small, small world, small isn't it? Small world, but it's, I mean, they, uh, they're down here in college. Like, uh, Bruton Parker's given a, a good opportunities to players in our areas, and even in, uh, they're, they're, they do well to scout with talent. Um, so. That's when I say Bruton Parker's one of many colleges around here that helps provide mm -hmm. a lot of opportunity for players around here in this area to move on and to the college level yeah yeah i mean if we could ever get a uh if we could ever build some sort of connection there with uh with brute parker i mean that would be a good feeder system too because it's a close college so you, you know you're going to keep your players close but it's also a very good uh a very good conference that they play in oh yeah um so you know, yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of surprised that um we don't have any soccer players there because we have a bunch of other players uh Go to Bruden Parker, uh, baseball, mm -hmm. uh, softball. I think so. I think we've had some softball. Well, uh, I know wrestling for sure. We got several wrestlers over there right now. Oh yeah, I bet. And I, I think uh, you know, uh, I think now you know having a change of coaches, having a little more development here. Like you'll have Bruton Park and you'll have colleges actually come out here and scout some of these players out. And now with like your broadcasting, it'll be a lot easier to kind of uh, connect with some of the coaches there and say, hey, we've got some film. You know, we've got some players. If you ever need them, players. Um, because I mean, you see that there's talent here. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, whether it's Toombs, Pierce, uh, J De Jeff Davis, Applin, like there's talent here. So, you know, yeah, it's, we might do Applin majority time, but we do this for everybody in mm -hmm. our area. Mm -hmm. It's not just for Applin; it's for yep. everybody. Yep. We might be more favored to Applin. Yeah. But, but I mean, we always yeah, will I mean, be because it, it's, yeah, it's our home. It's hometown. Yeah, it's, it's exactly, hometown. it's hometown. Yeah, but and so, you know, and anybody can uh, 
can watch the broadcast and absolutely like you said it's, it's for everybody so that people that uh that aren't able to come out to the games can actually support and uh root our players on absolutely that was the whole reason we started this years ago is for those that could not make it uh it's a good, during, good during save there by uh cheddar oh yeah absolutely and then got lane boat right yep. pushing yep. Oh, down fast lane. no sir so a great I move by lane that's another player that's been standing out too, man. I I, I remember whenever whenever uh, I first saw Lane. It's a completely different player, man. I love it. This is a good game so far. If you're not out here, you need to come out here to this game. Yeah, our, our boys are there's going a, out very aggressive yeah, right now. Yeah, there's a lot of energy here on the field today. And shout out to all the all the businesses that have sponsored this season. Um, you know, anybody that sponsored the broadcast and. For any Spanish-speaking people that are watching us, you know, bienvenidos. Uh, si no están aquí en el partido, necesitan venir a ver. Hay mucha energía ahorita aquí en, en el campo. Ahorita está jugando uh, Tombs, uh, Tombs County contra los Piratas de Appling County. Um, uh, Tombs metió un gol como en los cinco minutos. En, uh, ni cinco minutos, creo, era como en el primer minuto. So ahorita eh, estamos uno a cero a favor de Tombs. So saludos a toda la gente que nos está viendo. Que, que hablan español, saludos al 2000, saludos a Adrián, toda la gente que anda aquí en el campo. Uh, y sí, si no están aquí, y también ir, y también este, déjanos uno, unos comentarios ahí, si hablan español, mándanos saludos y aquí se los mandamos también. So, for anybody that's on the live feed, if you want to comment, send uh, any shout outs or anything, oh, we may be checking the comments here in a little bit. But, uh, After you done that, I got me an idea now. What? Next time we get you and guys here, yeah. I'm going to split you up. I'm gonna <laughs> Set up a, <laughs> see if I can set up a whole other broadcast. That way you can do it all in Spanish That'd and then cool. let Gaz do it in English. That'd be cool. That'd be very cool. I don't yeah. know if I, I, I don't know if I could do that. I'm, I can do two broadcasts. I don't know if I could do. I wonder if I could do two from the same. From the same, like transmit. Uh, yeah. Same. Yeah. From the same one. Uh -oh. I just don't know. I've never tried that before. That I mean, that'd be good. That'd uh -oh. be good to try because I know there's a lot of Spanish speaking fans too. Ooh. Ooh. Because right now I've got a buddy. He's uh, he's at a, a Pearson, but he's got his own little broadcast and stuff. And he does like uh, little tournaments, and he'll go to Atco and he'll broadcast. Okay. And uh, he does a lot of Spanish speaking um, uh, commentating. Okay. A good job there by Toombs' as keeper. Come out and make yourself big and, and win that ball. The ref's gonna call that one. It looked like a foul against uh, against Tombs. The ref's not gonna let that go. He's gonna call him back. It was a foul on Applin. Um, I think there was just some pushing and shoving there. Or no, I, it looked like uh, Diego kind of fouled uh, number thirteen, I guess. And when he went down on the ground, and then Diego kicked the ball to the opposite direction, and uh, the ref's just giving him a warning there. Okay. Kind of just like unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So, it's a good position for here for Tombs. I see what they'll do. Oh, that's a good ball there from Snyder to find yep. Allen on this left side. Allen, Allen get, turn on the. Uh, he's got some he's speed. Pushing. He's got some speed. He's going to cut back. He's going to cut up. Uh, he's going to set himself up. Finds Eduardo. Oh, Eduardo mm. unable to get his wrap, wrap his foot around it, and it sends it wide. That was a great opportunity right there by the Pirates. That was an amazing opportunity. Eduardo unable to make a good connection there. He was he was trying to go for a placement. He wasn't trying to you know hit it with any power. He was trying to place it there. And well, I thought I thought Allen there for a second. I thought he was trying to come back around and get around far enough to where he could get into the goal himself. I, I, I think he was, but he noticed he had uh, several defenders there on him. So that was a good that was a good. Um, that was a good option there to, to pass the ball to Eduardo. That was. That was a great. Um, that was great. Uh, awareness of having your mm -hmm. teammate right there with you. Yeah, and that's um. If we can get some more plays like that, I mean that those those will be. Those will be kind of key plays there because like Allen dragging all those defenders there. Most of the defenders already in the box, you know, paying attention to him, so it leaves some of our players open. So. Oh, we got Ooh, another opportunity a, here. I was going to say. <clears throat> well, been a great opportunity. They could have gone the ball back a little quick mm -hmm. while that water uh, Toons County's goalkeeper 
he slid down oh, yeah. uh, when he kicked the ball. I will say this. Toons County's goal kicker's got a pretty good leg on him. Oh, yeah. Got Alfredo here. It's a good ball there to Allen. We got three defenders on him. Takes on all three. Takes on two defenders here. Crosses the ball in. Towards the near post. Nobody there. It's an easy ball for the keeper. Toombs doing well to feed the ball to their uh, to their strikers. Number 22 falls on the ball here. Especially that's a great job by Alexis there to block that ball and keep it from going further down the field. Defensively, we're doing pretty good. We're 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 keeping it tight. We're yeah, keeping them down. Other than that very first goal, we we kind of yeah. We need to watch out here. Diego kicks it out for a corner kick. <coughs> it's a good ball here into the box. James does well to keep possession of the ball. Appling pressing high. Ref's going to call that one. He saw that. Number five was holding number 22 back. We've changed some players around from different positions, haven't we? A little bit. I think we've got um, – and if we didn't change the players in different positions, they're not opening up as wide just because um, – and I was noticing that earlier. We were more compact. We had more players here in the midfield. Yeah. So they I, I kind of noticed that out. we have more in the midfield and, and closer to the front, honestly, mm -hmm. with Eduardo and – um. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not her. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think I think what coach did is actually moved uh, Allen back into the midfield here, and you got Eduardo up top. Okay. Yeah, because I know I, I know he was keeping Allen up top in some games, but I, I've seen unless they're switching out or, or, or well, he's making a sub now. He's bringing. Let's see, that's uh, uh, Talon. Talon coming in, and then you had that is Snyder coming off. No, I think Snyder's uh, staying on. I think the only one that come off was Eduardo. Okay, Eduardo I Eduardo getting a little break. I couldn't see the number. Mm -hmm. So I think Talon's going to be our, our, our striker up top. It looks like Talon's dropping down and playing defense too. And in, in instances like that, you always just have communication where, you know, two players are on the same page and you'll say, hey, if I if I drop down, you can take my position up top until I come back and then we'll switch back. So you're never yeah. leaving a, a unmarked space or a space empty. Yeah, communication is always the biggest thing probably with any sport, especially with a sport like this. Right so. Let's see, had a foul call there on... Applin against, mm -hmm. I don't know what it was for though. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't really get to see what the foul was for there. I, I didn't either. Mm, Tombs pressing high again here. They win the ball back in uh, in our third. Tombs doing well to break our lines. Uh oh. Oh, oh my gosh! Wow. Good. What a what a save by by uh, Cheddar, but what a play by Tombs. Yeah, that was a great play by Tombs, but. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, our our back line there is going to have to start man marking. And actually, uh, instead of just watching the play, watching the ball, have to mark the guys and see any of these guys making the runs toward those uh toward that uh that back post. Aaron Aaron does well to clear the ball. Snyder's fighting for it. Allen kicked the ball mm -hmm. back in. Yep, Tombs doesn't look like they're getting in too much of a hurry. They're playing the ball, passing the, passing around, keeping position. It'll go out for a throw in. Uh, Jonathan Pena stepped up there and, and uh, kicked the ball out of bounds. Alfredo kicks it out of bounds again. <coughs>
Good ball there by the Pirates to recover. Looking for a through ball. Couldn't, couldn't connect with Allen or uh, Talon up top. Play it, play. Ref says play on. That's a good ball there. That's fantastic. Nobody, well, we don't have anybody there up top. No, but that was still a great job for Lane to clear the ball out, keep him from. Oh, yeah. Yes, that, that, get, that gives us a little bit of a breather here, and we can uh, reorganize ourselves. It's unlucky here. Uh-oh. Right. Number 13 has got some speed. Goal kick. Unfortunately, he slipped. Man, I kind of want to uh, replay that play uh, where... Uh, What's his name? Lane was dribbling down this uh, down the sideline and just and cut the ball back. Yeah, yeah, and that was a, to the inside. That was a good play. That play and then the goal attempt there, the oh, second man. goal attempt by yep. Toombs. Both of those are good plays. It, yep. it's been it's been a really good match yes, so far, yes. and and we're only twenty minutes into it. We still got a whole another sixty minutes to go. It doesn't even seem like it's been uh, it's like it's been longer than I, that. I know it's felt longer. That's just but that's been a. It's been a good game. Yeah, this, these are exciting games right here, man. A little miscommunication right there between Snyder and Oh, come on, a Snyder. Lane. I that mean, not Lane. Ta uh, Talon. Talon. Yeah, that was a good effort there by, uh, by Snyder. Yeah, I'll give credit to Toombs. They're, they're quick. They're quick on the ball, on and off the ball. That's a good through ball here to find number 14, number 34 on that right side. Number 33 is wide open. Alexis closes him down. Good job by Alexis to recover the ball. Now Snyder got number 33 chasing him down. Ref's going to call that a shove in the back. Will give us a free kick there at the 45, looks like. Or maybe at the 50. Now he's going to call it back to the 45. Yeah, I was going say, yeah. I thought it was at the 45. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since since, uh, since the girls game ended, I think we've had a pretty good bit of people show up. we still got a little, a few more people uh, coming or uh, showing up. We've got, uh, all right, Alexis is going to take this kick. Ref's going to call that one on us in favor of Tombs. They'll set up right here at the 30. 30. Yeah, about the 30. Mm -hmm. Good passes there by Tombs. Another foul here. Talon may need to be careful. That was already two yeah. in a short span. Yeah, I was I kind of been thinking. Our boys are playing aggressive, but sometimes there's a thing that's being a little too aggressive. Yeah. Or just play smart. We don't need any uh, any cards, you know. Yeah, that's all it is. I think, mm -hmm. like we said earlier, there's a lot of motion going into this game, and so... Gotta oh, yeah, calm and, back, and, calm back down just a little bit. And it's our last home game too. So, oh yeah, I mean, we, I mean that's a we want to last it. home game. That's always a big game. Oh, what a shot here shot. by Allen! Oh, oh man, just just barely missed the uh, the goalpost there on that right side. He saw the keeper off his line. He took his shot. Had it have been a little more direct, 
and a little yeah. more to the left, I think, I think he would he it would have gone in. They caught a goal goal kick on that. I thought the keeper hit it before uh, it went out of bounds. Yeah, I couldn't really tell. I mean, he he looked like he went up for it. He may have missed it. He and he might have. He did go up for it, and I mm -hmm. thought he had hit it. He might have missed it. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, anything can happen now. We've got 15 minutes left into this first half. Still got a lot of time. Throw in here for Lane Boatwright. Still another throw in for the Pirates. Mm, Tyler did well to keep it in, in play and able to keep possession of it, though. Toombs in possession of the ball. Still in bounds. Good move there by Toombs to keep possession. Drop back to their uh, center back. It's a good ball by the center back. You got 3v1 that here. Playing back to our keeper. It's a good punt by Aaron. Looking for Talon. Ref says keep playing. But I kind of thought there was a handball there without it stopped in mm -hmm. midair. Say uh oh, we have a chance here. Yes, yeah, we have Alan, Alan pressing. That was a high press there. Uh, we should have had some more numbers up top to, to support there. Uh, it goes out for a, it's a throw in for Tombs. Yeah. It's a good throw in. Ball falls to uh, Eduardo. Alan trying to take a shot. I think Benjamin's playing there in the middle, number 21, Benjamin Franco. It's, yeah, he's playing in the, kind of yeah. the middle. And yeah, I don't think he usually plays there. No, nah, well, I don't know, the last few I thought he's been kind of playing in the middle. Yeah, I just noticed that he was there in the middle. I think uh, I think usually we've seen it, but I guess because Lane is here. Lane is playing on that, uh, on that, uh, on that left, right side here. And that's usually where uh, Benjamin plays. He plays defense here on this uh Right side. After right side, yeah, yeah. It's a good throw in by Lane. Ball falls to Lane. And he put it back in the box. Ooh. Ooh. A good touch there by Alexis. Unable to keep possession. And that was a clean tackle. Too much weight on this ball. It's probably going to go out. Yep. yep. Should be a pirate throw in. Yep, it is. Benjamin does well on his first touch. Keep possession of the ball. Pirates lose it here in the midfield. Great stop there by uh, Alec yep, Alexis. Yeah, Alexis. You got Talon chasing the ball down here. No foul. No foul. I think, I think he's just going to. No, I don't think he caught a foul. It's a throw in there for the Pirates. Oh, it, no, he's got, he's telling him to get up. He's get up. And no foul, no foul. Here we go. We got Eduardo on the ball again. Unable to turn his defender. Goes out. It will be a throw in for the Pirates.
You have a little bit of arguing going on there on the sidelines. Yeah, I think they thought. I think Toons County thought it was a throw in for them, but. Oh, 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 oh. oh. It, and it goes. It didn't cross the line. It didn't, it, did it? No, it was right there at it. Man, and it's kind of hard to tell because you have that whole uh, that back of the end zone that's all white, so you can you can't really tell where it crosses the line. I mean, so far the refs are doing pretty good to control the game. They did with the girls' game, and uh, doesn't look like it'll get out of hand here. They're letting them play on, but when they see any any flagrant fouls or any like. They're I mean they're calling they're not calling everything. <laughs> they're not calling everything, but it but they're it, letting the game but, play on, but they're, yeah. they're controlling it pretty well. Yeah, the rest have done done a good job here so Man. so far tonight. Man, that was close. That was close right there because it actually bounced off of one of the Tombs County players before it was uh Man, that was a good opportunity there. We got about nine minutes and 45 seconds left in, uh, on our Village Pizza scoreboard. The score is still 1-0, to zero, Tombs County. Uh, Applin's has already had two opportunities there in the box. In the last uh, five to ten minutes, we've had some opportunities. We just uh, weren't able to connect and put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, Tombs are here uh, with possession of the ball, number 34, on that right side. Refs letting it play on. Uh, they stopped it now, but we yeah. do, do yeah. have a player down. Yeah, I mean, you had both players going for the ball and challenging each other, so they were both being aggressive to the ball. So, um, But, yeah, the refs are going to have to um, – probably going to have to start calling more more of these fouls and uh, keep control of this game so it doesn't uh, get out of hand here in the second half. We've got about eight minutes left in the first half. Player goes down again. You have John John fighting for the ball. Uh, still fighting for the ball. Toombs cleared out far enough for a throw in. Lane's on the ball. Good throw in there by Lane. Number yeah. five sets up for Toombs to clear it out. Yeah, it looks like Lane was looking for talent there to mm -hmm. throw it into. Yep. Lane with the ball again. Good ball there, trying to cross it into Talon, but uh, unable to connect. Alexis does well to recover the ball here. Oh, if oh think it what a goal! It's a great Good job, great Good job shot. by Jonathan Pena to be uh to be on his toes there. Yes, uh, it looked like the goalkeeper could have come out and uh and made a save, but I don't know if he just hesitated there. But that gave Jonathan a good opportunity and some space there. To come uh, run on to the ball and uh, put the ball in the back of the net. That makes it 1-1 with 7 minutes and 53 minute, uh, fifty three seconds left on the Village Pizza scoreboard. Yeah, that's that's a great thing to do as well. Right to get going right before halftime to tie this ball game back up. Which 7 minutes is still going to be a good bit of time. You, I mean, you you know what happened last few uh, uh, games. Oh, yeah. I, I know. So, hey. Yep, anything hey, that happen right now. We got 7 minutes left. We, we've got a lot of the momentum with Applin. Uh, we just need to uh, keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, in all, in all honesty, these last few minutes of this half, mm -hmm. Applin seemed to have a little bit more possession of the ball than what Toombs has had. Yep, yep, yep. We we can't we can't get sloppy here and make any um, any more mistakes. Nope. It's gonna uh, ref said it's gonna be a goal kick. Nope, nope. He's nah. he's giving him a corner kick. Nah, and he that's, changed it. That's what I thought. I thought he had said. I thought he had said corner kick. Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought he had, I thought he was signaling to for a uh, goal kick, but. Uh, well, I kind of I thought the one in the middle was signaling for goal kick, but then I thought the one. On the uh, the actual side judge, I thought he was signaling for a corner kick. Mm. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah, there may be some miscommunication there because I mean the center ref probably had a better look, better look. 
Oh, unlucky for Aaron. Ooh. Good thing the ball is. Oh. He sure. keeps the ball in play. Ref's going to call this against Toombs. Refs, are, I mean, uh, fans are asking for a yellow car here. Stop yeah, they're the clock. calling to stop the clock. Yep. I think the refs are having a discussion here. I think, uh, I think it is time. It is time to give somebody a, a card. Number four. He's calling for number four. No, he's, nope, calling, he's calling for number, number two. two. Yep. Unfortunately, we're going to see a yellow card being called here on Tombs number two. Ref said it's uh, excessiveness or just shoving the back. But it was just a little excessive there from number two. Maybe that will calm, calm uh Might calm everybody maybe, back maybe, down. Maybe, maybe it will calm back down both, a little bit. Yeah, both teams are getting... Yeah, because that's the first yellow card of the game. Yeah, both teams have been... Ooh. Oh, oh, and a good opportunity. Oh, Eduardo was, unable to put the ball like anywhere uh, further from the goalkeeper. That was a great move, though, to, to get to that shot. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the way he faked that shot and then drug it back and then took a shot. Yeah, that was a great move right there. With, with hardly any space there to take a shot, but he, oh, yeah. he was able to, to get it off. Maybe we got a I – think, I think Toombs kept that ball in. I don't think it went out. Man, we still got five minutes. Five minutes and 30 seconds left. Pirates are pushing. They want one more goal yep. before Allen before on the ball here. Finds Eduardo. Eduardo unable to keep possession of the ball. Was looking for Allen. Yeah, Allen does well to track back. Wins the ball back. Gets it to Jonathan in. Yep. Keeps back possession. Allen. Finds Eduardo. Eduardo. Just a little too much weight on that pass. We have a long ball here that finds number nine on this right side. There's only two players up top for Toombs. It stays in. It'll go out for a goal kick. <coughs> yeah, we still have 45 minutes. We still have another half left. So if you're watching this broadcast and you're in town and you want to come through, Go ahead and make your way to Jimmy Swain Stadium. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an action-packed second half for oh, sure. Oh yeah, it's first half. It's it's already shown it's been an intense game, and oh yeah, it, this second half gonna mean even more. Oh yeah, good move there by Allen to get a, away from his defenders. Looking at his options, finds Eduardo on his right side. Eduardo's Come in on. the box. Eduardo oh. cuts in. Oh, unlucky. It's like. Jonathan was asking for the ball here at uh, right there at the top of the six yard box. It's a great attempt there by Eduardo. Ed Eduardo, yep. Yep. I'll get it out. Um, kind of, I I wasn't sure if he was actually taking a shot at the goal or if he was looking for mm -hmm. one of his other um players down yep. there because yep. he had um was it ta was it Talon there mm -hmm. on? I think that was Jonathan number twenty seven right John here. John it was Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah, thank okay. you. I think he had Jonathan there. He was kind of wide open, but uh, I can't remember who, because yeah. I saw two of them. I saw one that yep. was further back, but I saw one on the other side of the goal mm. that was about in line with the goal, yeah. which is kind of how he was kicking. It could have been Samuel, because somebody uh, somebody just come in on that right side. I think it's Victor on that right side. So yeah, we, made a, we made a few subs. Um, ref's not gonna call that, or is he? Mm. Yep, yep, he's going to call that one against Tombs, and it'll be a free kick for us. Ball still in. Good footwork here by number 22. Down about two and a half minutes left in this first half. Mm -hmm. <coughs> good ball here, cleared up top. Oh, oh that was a good, great opportunity right here. That was unlucky by Toons, but that was good for us. The ref's not going to call that. He's going to say play on.
Good job for talent. Oh, unlucky. Eduardo there was unaware that he had a man behind him. Alfredo has some time. He clears the ball out, finds Jonathan on his right side. Jonathan's going to dribble. No, he'll pass. He's trying to get it down there to Allen. Yep, yep. Well, good move there by number 10. Good awareness by number 11 to know he had somebody pressuring him from behind. It's good defense by Oscar. Clears the ball out. It'll be a throw in. We've got a minute and 30 seconds left. Toombs will take this throw in. Number 22 crosses the ball in. Alexis is there to make a save or to clear the ball out. Sorry. It's a good job there by Alexis to win the ball again. Now we have Campion. Campion's over here taking the ball on his left side. He's dribbling into the box. Oh, just a little too much. Unable to keep possession of the ball, it goes to uh, it goes back behind the goal, and it'll be a goal kick for Toombs County with 55 or 50 seconds left on this uh, really picks a scoreboard. What what do you call what do you call Allen? Right uh, then, Campion. Campion. Camp, uh, champion. A uh, champion. His, his, huh? da his dad calls him that. Like okay. Uh, Camp oh yeah, since probably since he was born. <laughs> okay. That's his uh. That's his mini me. The ball is going to stay. Nope. It's going to roll out of bounds. Ref said it went out. Throw in for Applin. Oh, another giveaway here. All right, let's see if Applin can take advantage of it. Oh, for they Jonathan. play the ball into John John. A little too heavy there, unfortunately. Straight to the keeper's hands. That will be halftime. Score is one to one on our Village Pizza scoreboard. Cole, what do you think, man? That this has been a great first half. I, I'm not gonna lie. Both both teams came out out here real aggressive very early in this game and have not let up since. Yeah, yeah. Forty minutes they've been aggressive the whole time. Yeah, I, I was a little nervous there, you know, within the first five to ten seconds there. Once the team scored, I, I said, man, you know, that might change the the dynamic of the game or some, some, some strategies here. But, no, it uh, looks like Applin kept it the same, did the same thing. I think, uh, I think if anything, it might have made Applin even matter. <laughs> it probably made them matter, yeah. But so, so they, you know, they didn't lose their cool. They didn't, you know uh, – you know, getting a rush, they they did what they had to do. So and we, got, were, we were able to get the uh, that score here about what like uh, 15, uh, 15 minutes into this first half or something. No, nah, it was later than that. It was it's about twenty minutes, thirty minutes in, huh? I think it was. It's about, about thirty minutes, minutes, yeah. Uh, about thirty minutes into the half here, and um, you had a, let's see, it was, who was it? It was was it Jonathan? Yep, Jonathan Pena. Yeah, Jonathan just won that. Yep. Scored that goal there, and uh, and should honestly we should be up almost two nothing because we had that other goal that um did not quite cross the goal line there that you had so many players right around. Yep, yeah. I mean, man, it's I mean, it, I, I'm actually gonna go back tonight and then watch that play again and kind of see you know did it cross the line? Did it not cross the line? Because it I mean from here you can't really tell. You uh -oh. you're gonna watch that, and then you're gonna go back and watch Lane. <laughs> oh man! And uh, Toon's uh, attempt yeah, on uh, that second goal. Yeah, for sure, man. I, that, that that was uh, like I said, I was I was watching it, but we didn't have the broadcast turned on uh, right when they scored, so it was just like I was just here watching it, uh, just kind of in amazement there that they scored within the first ten seconds. Oh yeah. Uh, but well, like we said, it's been an exciting first half. We still got a whole another half to go. Um. We gonna invite Says. everybody on the broadcast or what? <laughs> we gonna invite everybody on the broadcast or what? No. <laughs> um, but but it's one to one here on the Village Pizza scoreboard. We are gonna take a break real quick and say thank you to our sponsors as usual. Yep. Uh, got about seven and a half minutes here before we start back up with the second half. So yep. we will be back. All right.
Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Step into the world of Woody Fultz Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Call Sammy. Call Sammy. Call Sammy. Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Step into the world of Woody Fultz Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy.
insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you. Healthy Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park that's simple human sense one all right we are back everybody cold turned the lights on on the field yeah brand new lights out here on the field and still as bright as what we were hoping for mm -hmm. as for us who take pictures yep, or yep. do anything with cameras tell me about it that's that's uh and for football, you can, you don't ever really have unless it's college football. You're never really going to have daytime games or Saturday games. It's always going to be after uh, after dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because most high school games are on Friday nights. Yeah, and they start about six or seven, right? About seven. Uh, about about seven thirty. Yeah, and by the time football season's here, you already have daylight savings, though. It's uh, actually not really in huh? high school. In high school, when you get to playoffs, that's when you have the. Oh, is it really? It's about when you hit the daylight savings, really. Daylight yeah. Daylight savings when, uh, like, November, right? Yeah, it's about yep. beginning November. Yep, yep, yep. So, about end of, end of your regular season, beginning of your playoffs is when you usually actually hit the um, daylight. But any of those night games, it doesn't matter what it is, though. You're never, unless you have, like, really good lighting out here, it's hard uh, to get good shots. Oh, yeah. Or unless you have, like, a, a really high-quality camera. Yeah. Yeah, high-quality camera or a lot of times it could even be the lens. It could probably be. get get a really good lens and yep. that could help. So, and people are probably wondering why we're sitting here talking about cameras instead of talking about the game right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's not too much action going on, but ten minutes ago, before uh, when that first half started, it doesn't look like nothing's really changed. Like the both teams are still aggressive. That was a good uh, good challenge there by Toombs to try to win the ball in the air. It's going to go out for a corner kick. The ref says. But, yeah, I mean, both teams just picked up where we, where we left off in that first half. So, nothing's really changed. Um, I don't think formation-wise, well, maybe formation-wise, I think we have Allen up here up top. But I don't think any new players have come in. we still got the same players that uh, that were here on the, in that first half. Yeah, I kind of I kind of wasn't sure if I wanted to see us make any, like, formation change at all. No. I kind of liked how our formation was, in all honesty. Yeah. Uh, against this team. Mm -hmm, against mm -hmm. how Toons is playing. Yeah, I think the only change, the only really like major change they made is Allen playing up a little higher and instead of playing on the midfield. Mm -hmm. I think Eduardo uh, dropped down and is playing more in the midfield. Um, so I think that was the only change here for the second half. Toons trying to play it quick.
Toombs with a shot. With another shot here. Ooh. Oh, that's a, mm, that, that, was, a, that was close. That was yeah. right, right above the uh, that crossbar. Was a, that was a good attempt by that Toombs player because he kicked that probably 30 yards out. Yep. yep at least. Actually, it'd be 40 because you got to always remember the nets at the back of the end zone. So, mm -hmm. by the numbers, that's another 10 yards. Yep. That, that, was, like a, that was a good strong kick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, those are probably a little more dangerous just because depending on how the player really uh, gets his shot off, you can always have that little sudden or that last-minute dip where it just dips down. Yeah. Um, so far, I mean, Tombs, tombs uh, look pretty good here. They're possessing the ball. They're controlling the ball. It went out for a throw in there, and it'll be Pirates' ball. Oh, good little uh, heel flicker from uh, oh. Allen. Victor unable to keep his footing there, loses possession of the ball. Diego steps up and clears his ball out. It'll go for a... Mm, no, yep, the ref's calling it a you know, throw in for uh, his tombs. I thought it did. I thought it went out. I thought I saw it go across that line, but I was not 100% sure. Yep, uh, I think they're... Yeah, even with the lights over there, it's kind of hard to see that gray line from here. It is. It's very hard to see. Mm, another ball crossed in, but it's uh, behind the net, so it'll be a, a, goal, a goal kick. For Cheddar. No, they call him corner kick. Oh, really? Hmm. Diego clears it out again. It'll be a throw in for Toombs. Number 24, step up. Finds number 10. A little bit of back and forth action here. Oh, Appling are able to, are they able to gain position? False to number 5 on the defense. Drops it back to his keeper. The keeper clears it out. Alfredo, press friend number 13, unable to win the ball. Steps up again. Ball goes out for a throw in. It's a great job by Jonathan to get the ball back in over to mm -hmm. some yep, of our yep. players. Oh, hmm. I think he's going to say some um, pulling. Pushing or shoving. I think it's going to go against Applin in favor of Toombs. Yeah, I can't. I, I don't know who it was for Applin, but I did think someone might have grabbed him. And mm -hmm. tried. I can't remember. I can't, uh, Diego Angel? I, I can't. I, yeah, I don't remember either. Aaron setting up his line. You have Alexis dropping down just to cover that extra side. Not much high over, but it did go over the uh, crossbar. It'll be a goal kick. Yeah, substitution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Victor. Ramirez yep. is coming out, and Talon Shipes coming back in. Yeah, trying to add a little bit of speed here on this left side. <coughs> that was good for Talon to step out and get a little break. Yeah, keep keep those legs as fresh as possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see it. Talon's unable to win it, but he's able to pressure enough to win a throw in. Ball goes out again.
uh, uh, I don't know what the what the ref was calling there. I wasn't paying attention. I, I don't know either. I didn't necessarily see anything that um the ref's gonna call this one again against Applin uh in favor of Tattnall. I don't know if he's fixing to give Talon a warning. I think he might just be giving him a mm -hmm. warning. Yeah, because, I mean, um, that that was possibly his third. Yeah, I mean, that's the third foul that's been called on him. Yep, tonight. yep, and the ref, if ref is going to call, yep, assistant ref here calls a handball. It's going to be outside of the box, though. Outside? Uh, that's, yeah, yep. I kind of thought it was in, too. Yep, he's asking the ref right now, in or out, he's asking him. But they're gonna have. Looks like they're gonna have. Uh, uh huh. I think the ref was asking him. Was it? What is, was it? Intentional? Where was his hand at? There was some something there. Uh, just to make sure he's awarding the right call. Yeah. From here, it didn't necessarily look intentional. Yeah, I mean, it didn't look intentional, but you also have this side here that has a better view. Yeah. Oh! And that'll be a goal for Toombs, making it 2-1 to one with 30 minutes and 33 seconds left in the Village Peaks of scoreboard. That's just the unfortunate things that happen. You know, yeah, we went in the box there. We just, as a player, you need to be able to keep your hands down, you know, even if, you know, even if it's like in an odd position or unnatural position, the ball still bounces up there. The refs are going to call it. So, um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't necessarily a mistake that time. It was just bad, bad situation. That's yeah. all it was. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I think us, uh, us as players are, we, we tend to have habits like that, but we also have to be, you know, be conscious that we're in the box and that, you know, you need to find a way to like, Pull your, arms, yeah, behind pull your, your back. arms behind your back. You know, hold your arms together. Something that way, uh, you don't give away any um, any, uh, on any PKs like that. Right. You wanna you wanna update it? Yeah, I'm gonna update it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I don't think I don't think anybody noticed. I mean, it wasn't that much time that was gone anyways. All uh, right. Good. Yeah, that was a good block, block there by Toombs, yeah. And you have number, you have Island there uh, was winning that header against number five. Alexis does well to recover the ball. The ref's going to call that. Uh, going to give that to Applin. Free kick to Applin. On the ground. So far, the refs are doing a good job of calling this match. Yeah, the, the refs have been good for both games. They've been Really good for both the guys and the girls game. Yeah. Yeah, I mean we can sit here and argue about the calls and stuff like that, but we, we don't have a good uh a good view of some of these uh Yeah and we we'll say stuff every once oh, once yeah, in a yeah. while and that's just natural because 'cause we're fans just like everybody else. And so um I mean at the end of the day it's always the rest call to make and and whatever they say is usually Right call. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's like in any sport, you always kind of want to challenge the ref a little bit just to see if he'll change his mind on a call or, you know, or just to, just to keep him on his toes. I know that's that's what we do here. Like in soccer, sometimes we'll kind of make sure that the refs, you know, we'll ask them like, hey, you sure, you sure that was a, that was a handball? You sure? You know? Oh, yeah. When ball did roll out back i mm -hmm. don't remember who kicked it they were trying to pass it to i think jonathan but a little too heavy on heavy of a foot and uh -oh. 
Scott. Toombs here on the attack. They're inside the box. Unfortunately there, Oscar slid to try to block the shot. And uh, when the Toombs player cut back in, I don't know if he kicked Oscar in the head or... Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, if you want to if you want to change the camera view, we can still keep talking. Just uh, if you I was going to say, yeah. Oh, we're off. Uh, we're, we don't have him yeah. on screen. So yeah, yeah. And I, I think on this play here, I don't know if the refs actually going to give give them a, a a PK there, but it wasn't. It, it wasn't it an intentional foul. No, because I mean the player for Toons, he he was coming off and trying to slow down and all. So um, yeah, what, what it's like he was trying to move. Around him and also, his yeah. What he, it looks like what he did there, he went to fake the shot. He faked the shot, and then we had our defender slide in to try to block that shot. And then a uh, Tombs player, he just cut the ball back instead of taking that shot. And when he did, he must have clipped Alexis' head or the player's head. I think that's Alexis that's down. He must have clipped his head there, and that's what caused him the Tombs player to trip over. But um, again, I don't think that was intentional. I uh, no, I don't think it was intentional either. But I think it's just up to the discretion of the refs and see what they're, what call they're going to give us here because uh, what is center ref is mm -hmm. talking with Aaron. Mm -hmm. oh. I think he's. I think Aaron was asking him why was he giving that free kick, and I think it's just he's just explaining to him, you know. Why he made that call. Like I said, excellent job to the refs. Like I, I I know some of the guys there, so I know these uh they're keeping it professional. You know, these guys aren't coming out here and just, you know. And a go and another goal for Tombs making that three to one with twenty seven with twenty seven minutes forty five seconds left in this uh second half. Which is still, that's still a lot of time left. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of time left to come back for this. Oh, yeah, there's still a lot of time, you know. Uh, if we can get one, if we can get one on the board, that'll, 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 that'll actually, get, I would think, you know, pick up the momentum a little bit because, uh, like I said, we got 27 minutes left. Still a lot of time here to play. Got Toons recover the ball there on that right side. Ooh, that was kind of dangerous there. Yeah, I kind of thought the same thing. Yeah, I feel like the yeah. ref should have should have made a call there because that seemed kind of dangerous. Yeah, I've seen ref in the past when something kind of dangerous like that. I've seen refs stop the game and. Mm -hmm. And that and was also uh, and that was also good from that player from uh, like hit just his uh, initial awareness just to see that he wasn't going to make connection with the ball and there was a player coming in there because that could have been that could have been a bad challenge. Yeah. Toombs is asking for another handball. They're not going to get it on this one. Toombs takes a shot. We'll have a goal kick here. Uh, Oscar will step up and take this kick. Boots it out, finds Talon. That will be called as a handball. On a handball, is it the? I think I've asked this before. Yeah, I probably forgot. Is it the entire arm, or is it like to the elbow that they call mm. it, or is it? I think it just depends. It just depends. In a, I mean, sometimes if you hit it off your shoulder and stuff like that, it's not going to matter. Well, I know it's like, gonna be like I yeah, think it just has to be like a little bit, like from the quarter of the elbow down. From the quarter of the elbow. Yeah, because sometimes, I mean, you can use your shoulder to, to pass the ball. It just has to be like when you lift your arms up, like your elbows are are, are basically away from your body in an unnatural position. And I was just kind of curious on that, just because that one there from Talon, I know, I mean, it was, a, it was a handball. I just wasn't sure because I wasn't sure if it was... Oh. So oh, what a great, what a great play there! Yeah. Um, Eduardo was driving the ball here on the midfield, made a great turn to keep possession, found Allen on that right side. Allen 
uh, crossed it over. Yeah, had a, had a driven cross down the bottom. Was looking for somebody on this far post. We had Jonathan and Talon there, but uh, they were unable to get there to it, and it goes out uh, out of bounds for a goal kick. Doom's goalkeeper yeah. is going to take some time. A ref, I think the center ref told him to speed it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and usually sometimes, uh, uh, well, there's just certain occasions where goalkeepers have like a certain amount of time to release the ball. If they don't release the ball, then the refs can also call that against them. Okay. And I was going to ask, that was a question I was going to ask too. Um, when it comes to throw-ins right here, do they, do they have a certain amount of time they have to throw it in by or? Mm. They do. They need to. They need to throw it as quick as possible. I mean, they can't sit there and like kill time or buy time. Um, but they they won't get like a card or they won't get you know a foul or anything called on them for wasting time. They'll just tell them to hurry up and they'll have to take the throw in. Um, okay. I wasn't sure if like there was a certain amount of time because I know like in uh, basketball, for instance, sometimes like five seconds. I can but not. I mean. Most of the time, you've seen they take it pretty quick, anyways. Yeah, you know? yeah, and I, yeah, I know players take it quick, anyways, uh, majority of the time. And so I just wasn't sure, like, if um, there was an actual time limit. I think, uh, it, I think for like throw-ins, I think it's like five seconds. I don't really, I've never really seen them like take uh, take a long time for the throw-ins. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you are looking for players to open up and and and, uh, and move around. But usually, I mean, you want to take that throw in pretty quick just, just uh, so you don't give the defending team enough time to settle down and mark any players. Uh, Yeah, I think he's going to call another handball here. Okay. I think it was off of Eduardo because Eduardo took a touch there. It was off his shoulder too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I think it just depends on, like, what the ref sees and what he uh, he decides to call. And that's kind of why I was asking earlier because I, I thought the ball on Talon – kind of high mm. and that's why i was trying to ask like mm -hmm. like if it's the whole arm or if it's like just to like down to the elbow or something like that wow 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 man number 13 has got a lot of speed man i'm not like i thought uh i thought our guy allen was pretty quick but uh some of these tombs players are showing a lot of uh, a quick a lot of quickness here oh yeah a lot of speed yeah that yeah you said that 13 he i think he showed it earlier on wanda Attempts at a goal. He's, he's, he's got some speed. He's quick. Yeah. Might have been actually the Number one. Five putting the ball into the into the box. As soon as it left his foot, I think he knew it was too much. The good attempt, the good effort there. Man, I wish Gaz would have been here. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, like I said earlier, unfortunately, I did ask Gaz earlier in the week if he could possibly be here tonight. He had planned to, but he had some stuff come come up last minute at work that he couldn't get out of, and unfortunately had to cancel on us. But it's all all good. We told I told him I still had you with with us tonight. Mm -hmm. I told him I'd help you out to, and ha announce with you tonight. It's all good because he don't get a free he didn't get a free England jersey now. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a good chance here. Number five tells his keeper, he says, step out, step out. Ball falls to his keeper. Got 21 minutes left on the Village Pika scoreboard. See, he's, he's telling the, 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 the goalkeeper to, to hurry up. I think goalkeepers usually have anywhere from six to eight seconds, maybe. I think that's the max, and they have to release the ball. If they don't release in that time, does it, can it change possession? Okay. Kind of like an indirect kick, kind of. Okay. And that's kind of why I was asking, just because mm -hmm. I know, like, in basketball, they have that same rule, basically. Mm -hmm. um, like, when they're throwing it in and all that, they don't release it in, I, b I believe, five seconds. Mm -hmm. um, then it can change possession. Yep. Got Jonathan trying to push the ball down. But mm -hmm. number 24 for Toons cleared it back down here to our uh, the, our goal, or close to our goal. Oh, 
I don't think we've had any players come on the field, right? Everybody's still on the field. Yeah, I haven't we've seen had no those subs here. Have subs. We? Which we've got. Well, we got one. We got um. Talon, right? right? No, you got. Well, yeah, he had Talon come in earlier. I didn't know Alexis went off though. Alexis Balcazar. Yeah. Um. Who stepped on for Alexis? Uh. Number. Tw is it number twenty six right there? Uh, probably Angel. Yeah, yeah. Because I think Alexis was the one that uh that slid. That's yeah, right. In the back of the head. I forgot about that. I think he's coming on now. That, yeah, that's I saw, what you were saying. Yeah. I saw him stand over there. That's what made me think about him. Good ball there. Trying to clear the ball out. Hits number 22, and it, it'll go out for a throw-in uh, for Toombs. Oh, oh, and nope. They're telling him to get up. No call. Yeah, that looked like that was going to be another PK there in the box, but uh, the ref said, uh, he said, just play on. Another handball here is going to be a handball. This will give us a good position here. Let's see if uh, Allen can take this, uh, this opportunity here and get a free kick. Oh, yeah, he's going to set it up and take this free kick. I will say one thing that I see the Toons players saying next to, like, out. Allen and some of our other players. Toons has got a little bit of height on their team, too. Mm-hmm. They got some height, yeah. Good ball. Oh, oh it hit the crossbar. So it's still it's still in play. That was a great shot by Allen. Uh, we're going to get a, uh, an opportunity to make a sub since we have possession of the ball on this throw-in. They're giving us the... Uh... So you got Alfredo... Going out. Is that Alfredo? Is that Benjamin? No, I'm sorry, Benjamin. Yep, Benjamin. I'm sorry. Out. And oh, uh, gotta wait on that. Uh, um, I think that was a bad throw in. He may have lifted his foot up. There may have been something there. Uh, just unfortunate. It's a good long ball here for number zero. It's been a really good match here. Yeah. Yeah, you you even though the score says three to one, it's honestly probably been closer than that. It's probably if it wasn't for those uh two PKs, it'd probably still be one to one. Yep, yep, yeah. I mean it's just small things, small mistakes there that uh I mean it's just things that happen. You yeah. Know, things that you can't really control in the game. Um I think the ref says that we may have too many players on the Oh, no, there's, there's a second ball on the field. It's probably going to be a drop ball here. They may change possession, or it'll be it'll just be a drop ball. Boom. No, number zero does well to keep possession of the ball. Great job by Diego to not commit a foul there, win the ball back. <coughs> Toombs with the ball here driving down this right side Alexis steps up Talon dropping down can we get our chance here I was going to say that might have been a bad kick there by the goalie or the goalkeeper oh 
man. Bad touch can give us possession here. Let's see if we can keep yeah. possession. Allen does well. He's going to carry on his defender. Does well to find Diego. Diego unable to keep possession of the ball. Ref's going to call a foul. <coughs> Allen does well to win the ball there. Finds Lane. Lane trying to keep possession of it as well. Pirates able to get the ball out for a throw in. Lane steps up, tries to intercept the ball, kicks it out of bounds. Another throw in for Toombs. We still got 14 minutes left on the Village Pizza scoreboard. The score is still 3 to 1 in, uh, in favor of Toombs. <coughs> Just still plenty of time for mm -hmm. anything to happen in this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think the fans are loving this. Uh, they're loving the energy here. Yeah, but I mean, both these teams are still very aggressive. Mm -hmm. Even this far into the to the game. Yep, the ball goes out for a throw in. Uh, okay. That, yeah, yep. call for some. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, I think Talon's coming out. And uh, Snyder's coming back in. And Snyder's going to play here on this left side. What happened? Now another handball there. I guess that's what he's showing. I must have missed. I must mm, yeah, have missed I, that one. Yeah, I, I didn't. I mean, I I was looking, but I just saw just a. Uh, I just I thought he, I thought he kicked is what it was. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was. Yeah, I just saw a bad first touch. I didn't see a handball there, but like I said ref. The ref's able to see more than we can up here. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a good clearance there by uh, is that Oscar? Yeah, I think that's Oscar number four. So I think we've got our original back line back there. You've got Lane on that left side. On that right side, Oscar, Alexis, and then Angel on this left side. We've got 12 minutes left. Toons with possession of the ball. Drops the ball back. Good by, uh, by Applin to, to, to pressure. We try to keep possession of the ball up here. Eduardo is chasing the ball down. Doesn't have any support. Toons is able to clear it out. Good touch by Snyder to bring the ball down. Good ball there to find Eduardo. Eduardo was hoping somebody was uh, stepping up behind him. Then Allen steps up. Allen's trying to win the ball again. Oh, some miscommunication there and able to connect the ball with uh, Jonathan Pena. It is still, it's still our possession. It'll be a throw in. Got another substitution. Mm, yep, in. yep. I think we're um, bringing uh, Diego off and we're bringing John. No, Benjamin. Benjamin Franco's coming on. I think Benjamin's going to play here. Uh, going to play on the back line. Up. Oh. I don't think. Well, so there, and Benjamin will take the ball. Especially that's through. Some, that's some great moves right there by Benjamin. And what a shot! Oh, oh Eduardo oh. was able to get off a great shot. But just, just a little high. Just high. And I thought it was, I couldn't tell if it was going to drop down or not low enough to. Yeah. I think, uh, I mean, he hardly had any space there, too. That was a, that was a tight shot. Yes. Yeah, but. Uh, that's two shot. That's two times he's taken two good shots in very yep. tight space. Yep. Yep. And he just came back on, too. So. Yeah. Uh, I think the coach is doing some. Uh, I think he's giving some instructions here. Yeah, I think he's trying I think what the coach was doing, I think he's trying to give some of our starters a break and maybe mm -hmm. these last 10 minutes put them in and see if they can make something happen real quick. Mm-hmm. Nope, that's a handball, I think, uh, against Toombs. See if we can put this in the box. It's a 
Good. That's a good kick. It's a great header by number 34 to get up there and win the ball. Lane doing a great job to come back and win that ball. He doesn't keep it in bounds. Yep, and it's going to be a throw in for Applin. Oh, what a great touch by Edward to play that ball in front of him. It'll go out for the throw in to Toombs. Um, I think Snyder was trying to set himself up. He wasn't able to make good connection with the ball and, 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 and put the ball in front of him. Nope, that was unintentional. He's not going to call it. Pirates are still trying to win the ball back. Good move, good footwork there by number 10. Loses possession of the ball. And the ref's going to call that one against Applin. Is a... Uh, Number five for Toons sends the ball back down here towards Appling, and they do say it gut does go out on on Appling, so Toons have a throw in here. Number zero four tunes did get a kick off, but I don't think he was able to get his whole foot right around on it because so it didn't look like a very strong kick. Applin having another substitution. Got Jonathan Pena coming off this time and number and Victor Ramirez coming back on number eighteen. Yeah, I think coach is putting in some uh some fresh legs. Seeing if we can uh see if these players can make an impact here with uh seven seconds left uh into this uh into this match. <laughs> seven seconds. Or seven, seven minutes, seven. I'm sorry. I was going to say, if it's seven seconds, they, they better, just, better have the flash out there to I know, do right? something that fast. Man, there's just been so much going on this whole game. Like it's Seems like we've been here longer than uh, than just an hour. It, it does. <laughs> this, this game has felt long, but it's been ex exciting at the same time. Hold. Nope, now the throw in for Toons. Oh, all goes out for for a throw uh, for a goal kick. Toons unable to keep possession of it. Toons will make another substitution here. Maybe just a, a strategical substitution here just to take yep. some minutes off the clock. Yeah, you got to give it up to Coach uh, Jeremy Moore at uh, at Tombs. He's been doing an amazing job. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's shown here tonight that these players are – Oh yeah, are doing are very well coached and all. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, um, Coach Jeremy had had you know he didn't just wake up and just start doing this. I mean, 
he's been coaching for years, for years. So, you know, to see his programs, uh, both boys and the girls' teams, you know, be as successful as they are, you've got to give uh, Coach Jeremy, you know, big props. I was supposed to ask, does he coach both teams or does he just coach one of the – I think he's coaching both teams. Um, he's he'll, he's probably got some assistance. Uh, looks like he's got some assistance uh, helping. I think for the most part, I've seen him coach both teams. Okay. Yeah, because I want to say his uh, his girls last year won the region, if I'm not mistaken. And now the boys have won the region this year. Yep. Must this be the. Yeah, I think one of the one of the milestones for for Coach Jeremy was um, was when they beat Tattnall because I think they lost the first match. They lost to Tattnall. I, be, I believe you're right. I remember, I remember looking at the. It was like three to two or something like that. I can't remember the actual scoreline. And then um and then when they played Tombs again uh, later on in the in the season, um, I think Tombs came out with a win. Uh, I can't remember the, the actual score, but I do remember. Um, I do remember there being like a, a interview or something because it was a big milestone for for Tombs to beat the uh, state the yeah, previous state champions. Yeah, the reigning state champions. Yeah, so it's like, uh, you know, that. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure that did a lot for the boys, for the boys team. Oh gosh, that yeah, absolutely. That can. I feel like when we played Tombs the first, I mean not Tombs, Tadnell the first time here. I, I mean, we took it into overtime with Tadnell. Mm -hmm. I. I feel like that was a big thing for our boys. Yeah, which which, that, I, which I think we still have to play Tattnall. We have we got, we've got that makeup game. Yeah, the boys still have to take. Yeah, have to play Tattnall. To, yeah. Um. But I feel like them in that game taking Tattnall to overtime that that was a big deal just because that shows that they can mm -hmm. play with the state champions. Yep, yep. And I mean, even the scoreline here is not really gonna reflect the oh, performance God. on both teams. So oh, you gosh, take away huh? those two mistakes that uh. That we made in the box there, uh, and you have you. I mean, we have a tied game. That's been say it's still a tied game. Oh, what a good opportunity oh. here by Allen! Like I say, man, props to the keeper. The keeper's been making some amazing saves today. Had, had it not been for him, there probably would have been two goals there in the first half, and then uh, this one here. Oh yeah, for two, both the tombs as goalkeepers for for the boy and the the boys team and the girls team. Both of them have done it. Outstanding job here today. Mm -hmm. You have Victor here chasing the ball down. Oh, they clear it far enough to Benjamin. Can Benjamin win possession of it? Oh, Victor's there. Victor's going to take a shot. Is it too, it, uh, a little too Should. much there over over the crossbar? But a good attempt. Down to about two minutes and 20 seconds here left in the game. Uh, that's not a lot of time, but... It's still enough time to make anything happen. As we saw saw in the beginning of this game, it only takes, <laughs> fifth, what was it, 15, 15 seconds? seconds? 15, yeah. Not, to not even. get a goal. Good, good, good ball there by uh, by Cheddar. Oh. Unfortunate there. Uh, I thought Lane had got hurt, but no, he didn't get hurt. He's back up. All right, we got about a minute 45. Cheddar has the ball, punts the ball out. The ref's going to call this as a, either like a jump on the back or a, a shove in the back. We'll get a free kick. Alexis Balcasar will set up. We're pushing all our, all our strikers, all our numbers up top. Put the ball into the box. We've got a minute left, a minute left. We still have possession of the ball. It's a throw in for the Pirates. They've got seconds. It's counting down. They're going to call a handball here. Yeah, I Yep, the keeper is doing some time management here. Yeah, I was going to say that might make the time difference right there. Yep. Overall, this was a great game. This was a great match. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. 
like like we said a while ago, if you take you take those two, you, you call them mistakes, but I mean, yeah. at the same time, they're not necessarily mistakes. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's just natural stuff that just happens yeah. in soccer. Yeah, I mean, you stuff, can't stuff you can't really help. Uh. Yeah, and, and, and for us to keep a game this tight uh, with this score against that, you know your number one uh, team in the region, your uh, you know a team that potentially beat the state the uh, previous state <coughs> champions of last year, you know uh, the boys shouldn't the boys shouldn't feel any sort of way about this loss here. They that, should take this and, and, uh, and take it as an experience and know you that, know where they stand, you know that, against other competitive players, other competitive teams. So you, you use this to learn. That's what you do with this is oh yeah you use this to learn oh yeah a big shout out again to uh coach jeremy for the amazing program he's building over there in tombs county i mean the players come out they uh they took care of business um you know unlucky for us we had two mistakes there in the box that just cost us two pks there in this uh in the second half and um you know other than that both teams were, were pretty even just like you said uh cole both teams were pretty even shout yeah. out shout out to uh briar Briar, we need you out there, man. We need you. <laughs> we need you. We need you out there, Briar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah it was a, a great. It was a great match. Both both boys and girls. Yep. Both of them were great matches. Yep. Uh, I mean, both teams were pretty well even with each other. I, and I think that, like I said earlier, that just shows how strong our region is this yep. year in soccer. Mm-hmm. We, yep. We've got a very strong region this year in soccer and. That there's going to be, yeah. We're, we're going to have several teams, I believe, this year that's going to make a push to towards mm-hmm. that state championship. Yep, yep. And, so, and, and that's and just um, like I said, they just have to go back in back into training, uh, fix some things, and then come back. Uh, I think next week they're going to have a game. They're going to have that makeup game during spring break against Tattnall. Um, which can make which can even even though we lost here tonight, that that can mm-hmm. still have a good impact on how the region plays out this year yeah because i think um, i think with tattnall there's still three games left for them so they still have jeff davis brantley and they have to make up tattnall this coming up week so yep. with three more wins you know you never know what's going to happen well unfortunately only two of those wins count to the region jeff davis is yeah. unfortunately not in our region no nope, no nope. sorry but like you said but what you but were I, saying but though, i think on the uh on that jeff davis uh it's still like the goal differential still matters too so it's like uh, that well i, I hadn't so. thought about that that can make a difference too if they end up going into a tie in any situation, yeah. Uh, which, with how the record is right now between Apple and Pierce and Tannell, that could very likely happen for a yep. tiebreaker to have, have to come in for something. You going, Coach? All right, man. We'll so, see you. Um. So yeah, this no, nothing to nothing for our guys to hang their heads down about. I, absolutely not. I mean, that they're, they're number one in the region, and they've. Shown why they're number one in the region. Mm-hmm. They played great ball tonight. Yep, yep. And, and um, and I mean we we played with them. It's just yep, two two mistakes. That's what cost us. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So you know, and it wasn't even intentional mistakes. No, no, not intentional mistakes. But they're just things that happen, you know, and they're out of out of our control. So, uh, so yeah. I mean, well, but, um, I think, I think we uh, think we've had a uh, enough fun for tonight, Cole. Yeah, and. Um, I will say this: this might be our last soccer game for the year. I, I really think so. Um, I think this is the last home game. That there's there there is still a chance that we may we could possibly end up second. I I think I believe. Uh, depending on how Tannell, what and, the rest of their schedule is, if and they, that tiebreaker too, right? And it, and the tiebreaker. I think it would come down to a tiebreaker. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because uh, cause I think for the guys here, I don't think our team has actually conceded many goals this year. So, like... Uh, no, ma- majority of our games have been, from what I saw on the schedule, a majority of them have been low scoring compared to o- others. The, I think the only high scoring game was like the Pierce or that Tattnall was it was like 3-1, 4-1, something like that, right? I no, think. I do believe the first time we did play tunes, I think we did have, there was a higher score there, mm. unfortunately. Um. But other than that, we have not given up a whole lot of scores. Yeah. And so, whereas I've seen that several teams give up like four to five goals yep. per um 
per game. So, yes, sir. So well, that could make a big difference for us in well, Cole, the region. I, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be up here and, you know, commentate these games and, and be a part of the uh, your broadcasting team. Ab I mean, it's a – I always like being out here at the games. If I wasn't broadcasting, I would have probably been down there <laughs> taking photos. Absolutely. We were, we're very happy that you joined us and hoping that – we get to have you next year as yeah. well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, which we're all, which uh, we're always hoping that we get to do an, another game oh, yeah. here, but um, yeah, for we sure. We won't know that until yeah. after how the yeah, rest of the games just, go just, out. Just cross those fingers, let's say some prayers, and hope that uh, you know, we can get that number two spot and then uh, host that uh, host that game here for yeah, that for would history. Be, that would be a, that would be amazing with the new turf field and everything. And yes. You know, uh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. So, you know, thanks to everybody that's been watching us. Thanks to everybody that's uh, supporting the team, supporting the program. You know, without the uh, support of a lot of the fans and sponsors, a lot of these athletic programs wouldn't be able to provide, Absolutely. you know, uh, jerseys, equipment, you know, things for these kids to be able to to uh, to enjoy the sport and actually represent our our county. Abs so, absolutely. It's the community that that's what allows these mm -hmm. player, players to do all this stuff oh yeah oh yeah so you know but, again big shout out to coach at uh at tunes and good luck for the rest of the season yes and i got one more shout out i want to say thank you to jackson harley our camera guy as usual mm -hmm. uh, i haven't even, haven't even mentioned him tonight um but as always he's willing to come out and help us do these broadcasts and run camera for not just soccer but almost uh, almost any sport. Yep. But the only sport I don't make him do it on is football. And that's just because I have him doing something else, unfortunately. <laughs> I usually have him good. run our scoreboard during well, football. Good. But a big thank you to Jackson for for helping as usual. And big thank you to all of our sponsors again. So, But um, I think that's going – I'm going to call it a night. You got anything else you want to say? No, nope, that's about it, Cole. I mean – uh. Yeah, that's about it, man. I just appreciate, you know, the opportunity. If it's the last home match, then this probably be the last time we'll be on this broadcasting channel together. But, uh, you know, looking forward to next year and the next season and yep. uh, anything coming up. Like I said, if hopefully we get to uh, host that game. So, yep, if not, absolutely. Yeah. I appreciate but, it, man. And I might, with how our schedule is, I'm not making no guarantee, and I highly doubt it, but I might look to see if, Depend on how the playoff works. Mm -hmm. If we can, travel. if we can make it to a travel mm -hmm. game, yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Just let me know, and uh, and we'll plan it out. Yeah. We'll but it I, together. but unfortunately, I just can't. I'm definitely. Uh, unfortunately, that might be a big, big maybe. Mm -hmm. Probably, really more of a probably not. Just unfortunately, with how my schedule has been. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. For sure, we've been very busy. So, um, so. I'm, well, Unfortunately, we may not be able to make it that, but but we always are going to support our pirates no matter mm -hmm. what. Oh yeah, whether they're here or whether they're traveling. Yep, yep. So so yeah, man. Just let me know anything that comes up, and uh, and yeah, you know, hope everybody enjoyed the match tonight, and uh, good night to you all from yes. Jimmy Swain Stadium. Yes, good night, everybody, and go pirates, go pirates. We insure your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you. Step into the world of Woody Fultzum Auto Group, where your car buying experience is as smooth sailing as the Pirates. We've got an incredible lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Nissan vehicles just waiting for you.
Community Centers are proud to bring you Nicole Lee and Cheryl Cox, family nurse practitioners, providing primary care, DOT physicals, MAT therapy, chronic care management, and more. Give us a call at 912-705-2273 and let us help you stay healthy. your car because some people never learn to park. That's simple human sense. Ask Rents and Rents Insurance in Baxley if auto owners make sense for you.